Well, hey, welcome back to Mike Cyber Radio. I am your host, and welcome to this uh, uh, special uh, afternoon uh, matinee presentation of the Mike Cyber Radio podcast live stream. And today uh, we're going to do a uh, unboxing and a chat, and really a, a topic that I have meaning to do for quite some time, uh, but now. As you'll find out now that uh, I have a collection that's complete, I, I'm definitely uh, motivated to do it. I was going to do this live stream uh, a while ago, maybe like a couple weeks ago before I went to TFCon uh, Chicago, where basically the original thrust of the video was going to be, oh man, my collection is complete except for one item. And if you see me at TFCon and you can help me find this one item, terrific. Well, none of that happened. I ran out of time and I didn't um, um, do that particular live stream, which I'm kind of okay with because now I can do this particular live stream comprehensively and, um, and, you know, I, I I don't have to go back and do another video or another another video. Um, we are of course talking about the Transformers War for Cybertron, uh, Sideswipe Lambo Ranger army that I've built, uh, otherwise known as the uh, Super Sentai uh, Lambo Ranger Squad or the Power Ranger Squad, the Sideswipe Power Ranger squad no matter uh depending upon how you want to call it but basically we're we're talking about a uh run of figures that's this guy it all starts with siege sideswipe now um as we will talk about in this video um i could care less about sideswipe as a character he's not even close to the middle of the bottom of my list of favorite Transformers characters. Uh, but yet through a variety of uh, circumstances and friendship, um, I have built now a complete set of, uh, of those sideswipes. And I'll kind of, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the story um about where i got each one uh but we're also going to talk about i'm also going to do a review of each figure individually so we might be here for a few uh we know that brevity is not my first best strength but um i i think it'll be kind of fun to to just kind of go through uh these guys um individually and then as a group and i'm also going to do some unboxing what i was originally going to do from the the previous video because i have some members of the squad that are still in their boxes so um this is this is going to be um this is going to be a, a fun time so for starters, let's kind of start off with, I'm going to try to do as gently as I can a Saturday Night Live flyby so that you can see um, the collection as it was, as you may have seen it the last time I posted photos. Oh, snap, that actually worked out really well. <laughs> um, uh, and, and the lighting in my uh, studio here is actually kind of halfway okay. So as you can see, there are... Um, a handful of robots that's uh, seven of them. I, I guess the original seven that I got. Um, so on display here, these are all siege molds. We'll get to the kitchens, uh, earth modes um, in a little bit, but this is basically what we've got now. You got um, siege sideswipe, siege red alert, generation selects deep cover, generation selects tiger track, um netflix i think i are, are they call them just war for cybertron i don't 
I don't. I, I think it's just Netflix War for Cybertron. Anyway, the the Walmart exclusive. So I'm just for this particular um for for vocabulary from this point forward. I'm just going to refer to them as Netflix. So anyway, so you got uh, Netflix Red Alert, Netflix Sideswipe, and Netflix Deep Cover, aka Blue Deep Cover. Um, so that's that's what I've got um, uh, so far. There, there are other additions to the army, including uh, my latest acquisition that I picked up at TFCon Chicago. The the last piece, the one that that completes the entire puzzle. Uh, this guy is um, covert clone. I'd swipe. He is half of the Alpha Strike Counterforce, uh, which was a Amazon exclusive, aka the G2 um, Deco Sideswipe. So we're going to mess around with him for a few. Um, so Nick has joined in the chat, and he asks, "Are all the bots are all the bots are in robot mode? Do you have any left there in card mode?" Yes, this guy. But as we get into our unboxings, which we're going to start in just a minute, um, uh, I, I do have some others in car mode as well, and I'm going to do some transforming uh, for the, uh, the the more comprehensive review of each of these. Um, Nick also asked about the risers. I have, um, I'm, I'm currently using uh, these wire uh, steps. Um, I picked these up at Bed Bath & Beyond a while ago. I, I don't remember how much they cost or really how long ago I got them, but um, uh, Lucky saw those and thought that they would be pretty cool as, as um, uh, steps to kind of maximize uh, some of um, uh, some of that space. Um, Nick also asks, uh, will you use any of the background dioramas that came in the new figures as background for your display? I don't know. Um, and because of the way that I bought some of these figures, I don't actually have all of the backgrounds. I don't have all of the boxes. Uh, which is fine because like I, I went on a um, tear where I was I was just trying to acquire these figures however I could, you know, whether they um, uh, whether they were mint in box, used in box or used loose. So I have a, um, a fair amount of all of those. So I think I took a picture of. um Netflix sideswipe um in his in his background but I don't think that may have been the only one that I've used and as we'll see in just a bit I think oh my gosh he's the only one um aside from one I'm I'm about to open that I actually have the background for um so that being said I don't know I I I don't know if I'm going to um use the backgrounds or not. I haven't really thought about it. And more to the point, I haven't really thought about how I'm going to display these guys um, uh, longer term. Uh, well, that's that's not a nice comment. Um, you're, you're getting blocked, my friend. Um, wow, that's that's awkward. Um. So I, I guess that's uh, that's that's one of the disadvantages of putting up a video publicly is that anybody can um, um, that anybody can comment. So um, less said about that, the better. We're uh, we're just uh, we're just going to keep moving. So um, as I had um, shown you already, this was kind of the display as it um, as it initially was. So what I'm going to get into now is some of the uh, unboxing for some of the other uh, recent acquisitions and to kind of uh, complete the army. And then from there, I'll go through and tell you about kind of like which ones I got in which order. And then I think from there, that that's kind of how we'll um, 
um, that that's how we'll do the review. Uh, feel free and jump in the chat. Uh, but um, um, if you do, please, uh, please keep it clean because uh, I, I don't I don't like uh, being all uh, out of sorts um, and distracted by um, uh, lewd comments. Um, uh, before I get into the boxes, uh, Nick has another question. Do you watch any toy hunt videos that are popular on YouTube? Maybe you could do one of those when you go to Target or Walmart or Comic-Con. Uh, short answer is no. I um, I know Pixel Dan does a lot of great uh, toy hunting videos, but I... I don't. In fact, actually, there's a whole lot of toy YouTube I don't mess around with. I I watch Toy Galaxy because I like the history, um, but that that's more having to do with media and fiction than actually um, uh, toys. I yeah. In fact, I I don't. I ironically enough, I um, um, it feels weird to say this out loud, but I think the only toy related channel that i watch with any regularity is retro blasting and it's not because i like it i it's because it's a hate watch for me um that dude um you know i i wrestle with being uptight and um too self serious that dude that that's a guy that could stand to just take a step back and touch some grass and chill out. Uh, much like the uh, Metallica blackened whiskey that I reviewed a while ago, it's just food. It's just toys. I mean, anyway, um, uh, Nick, the boxes without windows that Hasbro is making currently are crap question mark thoughts. Um, uh, that, that's kind of leading the witness a little bit, but the um i don't care for windowless packages or no more i i i'm going to have to come back to that um because i do have thoughts about windowless boxes um i also have different thoughts about packages with windows without plastic so it's it's not uh, binary, but one of the things I talked about during the podcasters roundtable uh, to close out TFCon uh, with the uh, transmissions folks and our friends is that all I know is that my Studio Series 86 lineup is all screwed up because like I have uh, large boxes with plastic windows. I have smaller boxes with uh, windows with no plastic. I have smaller boxes with windows with no plastic, and I have a windowless box, uh, that being, uh, for, uh, sludge. Um, so, um, I know th the boxes aren't going to match, but the fact that, that my three Dinobots now don't match, it, it does kind of bother me. Um, I, I've said before, that I applaud and don't specifically mind um, Hasbro's move towards uh, reducing plastic in their packaging. I think, I think that's a, I think on its face, that's a good thing, but for plastic action figures and for boxes that are displayed and for my collection being so built around displaying things in boxes, in packages, with boxes, with windows, I am facing a little bit of an existential crisis in terms of um, how I feel about my collection um, and, and what I want to do with it uh, from there. But um, we're talking about Lambros. But ironically enough, I, I guess... As we transition, it does kind of begin with a, um, a conversation about packaging. But I want to start with a uh, package that I got from a uh, good friend of mine. In fact, actually, he is to blame for all of this. Um, so I got to give a huge shout out to uh, to my buddy Garrett. Um, he's at Nemesis Slime out on Twitter. And basically because he saw 
a figure in a Walmart that I was having trouble finding, that is the first domino that kind of started starts this whole darn thing. And I'm going to talk about that when I, when I get to that particular figure, but also he's also the cause of how my collection uh, continued and continued to, um, uh, to, uh, to finish. Like there, there was a spot where I thought I was going to stop. Um, but Actually, so yeah, we'll we'll just kind of get into that now. Let me uh, reach down here. So I got a box here, and I got to make sure and hold it the right way because uh, everybody's um, uh, shipping addresses is on there. So basically, like I'm at work. Um, oh no, I, I dang it. Well, I I guess I do have to kind of talk about it in sequence. There, there's there's a certain point where I was into um the the siege mold where i had decided that that was a collection i wanted to pursue and it's fascinating because the story of this collection has has a few different stops on it um so actually what i think i'm going to do um because i i'm i'm hearing the gears turning of kind of how i want to tell the story but i think for these purposes i think we just need to see everything and then I will talk about that. That way you can be looking at toys instead of looking at me. Um, so anyway, so um, uh, Garrett sends me a package and um, I, I already know what's in it. We, we talked about it. I, you know, uh, negotiated a price. And um, and so anyway, so it, it's here. I'm going to open this up and I haven't actually photographed these. Because basically, this package came at a time where no, it was before I went to TFCon. But basically, like, whoops, I um, I was super busy, wanted to do an unboxing, didn't get to it. Point being that these these have been living in the box since the first time I opened them to uh, uh to take a look. So we're gonna take a look uh right now. First, I want to give uh, uh Garrett a shout out for like, I mean, look at this box. I mean, it's it's a nice box. He threw in some uh, really nice uh, padding and packaging. Um, and, oh, and, and it's a bag that's going to be a clue to where some of this stuff came from. So the first figure uh, I'm going to reveal and chat about is Clampdown. So this is what the um, uh, Velocitron Speedia 500... Um, Walmart. So it, it's dang it. I, I, I should get that all squared away. But anyway, so th this is, this is a Diaclone universe uh, clamp down. And he is the first one you're seeing here of the earth mode, the, the Lamborghini mode. Um, so here he is in um, vehicle mode. And so, yeah, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a cop car, which, um, unsolicited um i i do have some thoughts about the uh uh that run of walmart figures i think it's a terrific idea i i like what they're doing actually i like a, i mean distribution aside i i've been liking what walmart has been doing um you know uh especially with the the velocitron series it's like i've heard people complaining that they're all repaints and it's like okay you know, repaints, retools, but then, but then you get Cosmos. I'm not going to talk about Cosmos here, but what I like is that it seems like they, th through their character choices, they've kind of built up the story. So you have a couple racers, you have uh Cosmos as like the, the referee uh, flag guy or whatever. And then you have a uh, clampdown, which I know he's a police car, but I, my interpretation of clampdown is that basically he's the pace car. And so, you know, I, I, I think, so it feels to me like the character choices have a reason for being there. Like, you know, road hauler is a, you know, is a, is a crane and, you know, in races you need to, you know, crane, um, a busted up vehicle. So I think, um, I thought I blocked you. Okay. Give me a sec. 
because now I'm uh, I'm having problems and this is really bothering me. And now I can't find it. Son of a bitch. I don't know if you would believe me or not, but I I have not had the occasion to uh, get trolled on a live stream before. I suppose that um, it was only a matter of time, but um, but uh, but anyway. So um, yeah, so here we are. It's still working on YouTube. Well, that's terrific. Um, so yeah, so anyway, so that, that's a, that's a thing that's happening and, um, and I guess that's just a, a, a thing that's going to be happening. Fucking sucks. Huh. Well, get some more. Uh, looking here. Um, how's your Saturday going by the way? Um, Okay. Blocks are profile specific and applied individually. This block won't apply to other profiles, but will limit some of the ways they can interact with you on other profiles. Well, that's nice. That's nice. I guess that's why I don't do uh, live streams on Saturday morning. Uh, Facebook, by the way. Okay, so. <laughs> and now I'm just um, uh, sitting here talking. I, I am very well. Okay, so um, a brief reset. So so basically what happened, uh, uh, those of you that are watching on the live stream and have no idea what happened. Uh, basically, I... Um, was getting trolled on Facebook and I, um, very rarely, um, you know, I, I'm not so big of a channel that I turn the, the chat and the comments on obviously because I've been interacting with you. Uh, but yeah, th this was, this was like a whole new experience for me. And, um, and, and yes, I, I know I have challenges with my weight. Thank you. Um, but no, it was, it, 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 it kind of weirded me out and it's occurred to me that I've never really had the opportunity to figure out how to be reactive, uh, to something like that. So it took me a sec and, uh, to actually kind of like find the person, find their profile and then, and then ultimately block them. So, so I, I, I apologize for all of the, uh, for all the drama. And as I said, that it did kind of wig me out a little bit. Um, but anyway, we're here. Uh, uh, we are here talking about toys. This uh, uh, this fat dude is going to talk about toys with you. Um, so anyway, so uh, where we left off is I um, I showed you uh, clamp down and we're going to talk about him in um, a little more detail. Uh, we're also going to talk about um, uh, the lights um, and uh, and a couple other things. Uh, Nick in the chat says, uh, has, uh, Walmart owns the molds for certain Hasbro figures like Netflix, Soundwave, and Cosmos, but not the Lamborghini one. Kind of odd. And um, yeah, so there there is some discourse about why the current legacy Soundwave is the Siege mold and not the Netflix. And it's because Walmart owns that tooling. Same with Cosmos. So with regards to the Lambros, um, Walmart owns this particular tooling of clampdown, uh, whereas Walgreens owns the, um, uh, red alert version. So I think it's, it's tooling in deco, uh, uh, specifically. 
uh, but we'll we'll uh, we'll come into that um, later. Um, Garrett did pop into the uh, chat for just a brief moment. Hey, buddy, uh, I hope you uh, go through and enjoy this uh, this video because like there's uh, there's all kinds of stuff on there. Um, let's see. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the clamp down does look uh familiar so we're going to go back into uh the box here so we already saw a clamp down who are we going to see next within this box oh within this box there's a bag so we're going to get rid of the box and this is a huge hint for which figure is in here it is indeed a ross dress for less box um, uh, you can't see it. It says like hashtag yes for less. Oh, there you go. Yes for less. Um, and if you know anything about Ross dress for less, it, it, it is a, um, kind of a, a discount apparel and general goods store. Uh, but they apparent they occasionally get transformers on clearance including um like i mean like the siege stuff uh started hitting last year year before um occasionally some movie masterpieces and things like that but uh the thing that that most recently hit shelves was um the uh uh battle i think it's called battle across time um and it included a two pack which included a uh, Beast War Skywarp, which is a, a retool of Air Razor, as well as um, a, as well as um, well that that's that's nice. I'm happy for you. Um, which also includes uh, this guy, um, which is um, Sideswipe in Earth Mode, Earth Mode Sideswipe. Excuse me. We're going to do some more whack-a-mole again. I, I don't get it. So, okay. So now that I'm fully and completely distracted by assholes that want to come on the stream and cause trouble. Um, why? I mean, seriously, why? What's what, what is the point? Um, what's your deal? Um, again, I, I might sound naive or confused. I mean, cause I mean, it's weird because like I've, I've been in this broadcasting space for what, seven, eight years now. And the thing that I've never really had to deal with, whether it's on the radio or doing podcasts or even on social media to, to an extent. Um, and, and really the stuff I run into on social media, I, I bring, you know, I, I bring on myself, you know, I, I um, agitate fan bases that come after me and it's like, Oh no, they're coming after me. No, I, I, I poked, uh, I poked the, you know, I, I shouldn't be surprised when I poke the bear in the eye and the and the bear comes after me. But for somebody to get on my stream from a different profile, um, from a different page that I had blocked to say, hey, Mr. Piggy, I'm back. I just I don't. I don't understand. I, I literally just don't understand. Oh, oh, maybe he's a friend of retro blasting or something and like heard me say that um, I don't like that dude. Um, or maybe he's uh, uh, affiliated with that um, uh, with that Transformer Raw guy who, who was uh, uh, commenting on the uh, transmission stream. I really don't know. All I know is that this whole thing has kind of caused me to um, not not a uh, meltdown or specifically tailspin, but it has been an unwelcome distraction that again, and, and I apologize to you hanging out on, um, on the other platforms that have no idea what I'm talking about. I, I know this is kind of like a, a, um, 
unwanted distraction. You just want to have me talk about toys, but like, I don't know. I just, I, I don't understand trolling. I, I know it's, it, it should just be like block and move on. Um, but yeah, it's, um, I, I apologize. It, it's really getting under my skin. So, which, which of course is the point of it. So, um, and conversely, um, the move should be to just close down the chat and not look at it. Um, but I don't want to do that because I get the feeling this person might return again um, for me to continue to block and whack-a-mole. So I don't know how this is going to go. Um, so we'll, um, we'll see what happens, but, um, but to you trolling out on, on Facebook, fuck you, fuck you right in your fucking face, whatever. Anyway, we continue. Um, so yeah, so as you saw, there was the, the Ross bag and within it, uh, was a sideswipe. Now, so I got a message from Garrett while he was at Ross and said, Hey man, they have the battle across time. Do you want sideswipe for your Lambo army? And, um, that was the domino that made me said, you know what? I'm going to mess around with this, uh, with this earth mode, uh, tooling because, um, I had stayed solid with just the siege tooling. I, I like that. This has really grown on me. I like this, uh, the space car. I, I like the, the, the rounded, um, uh, hood and I like the details and I, I like that it almost kind of looks like a DeLorean in, in a way it looks um, I don't know. I, I, it looks, uh, more like a space car than a Lamborghini, which is maybe why I, I, I like this mold and like this tooling. But anyway, I've, I've, I never had any interest in the earth mode. And I figured that would be a good way, uh, a good stopping point. Like, oh, I can just do the siege Cybertronian modes and then just leave, um, uh, the earth modes alone. So, uh, but anyway, so it's, it's because of Garrett, um, let's, uh, let's, let's kind of go through it. I, I passed on kingdom red alert because I didn't, uh, well, no, I'm sorry. This came out first. So this was an Amazon exclusive and I was like, nope, I don't need to be buying a two pack and, you know, to, to get a figure I don't want. And you know, it's fine. Then Kingdom Red Alert came and I noped out of that as well. It was when Clampdown was either announced or showed up at retail. I don't remember which, but that that's kind of where um that's kind of where uh my mind started to change. Um I had also um oh what was it? So yeah, so anyway, so I I had decided to keep my collection um focused on the Cybertronian modes, I decided to pass on the earth modes. So then Garrett, uh, goes to Walmart and he finds, he finds clamp down in the wild looking for cosmos doesn't find him finds clamp down. And he messages me. I think I was at work. Um, do you want clamp down? And I was like, you know what, buddy? I no. He asked me if I was looking for him. Are you looking for Clampdown? I was like, casually. And for me, that means like if I find him in the wild, that was the deal I made with myself. Because once, um, uh, you know, Clampdown was it, it came from the Cosmos legislation actually where it where people were discovering the cosmos was one per case we also discovered that clampdown was only one per case now clampdown doesn't have the same demand that um that cosmos does which i i do think is kind of odd considering they are both one per case but um that isn't here or there but he um he finds it finds clampdown says do you want it are you looking for it? And I was like, well, 
I'm looking casually for it. So if you're asking whether I want you to buy it for me, I'm going to politely decline it this time. Um, and he's like, okay, well, I already bought it. And I, I felt, I felt a little bad, but I also told him, I was like, well, you know, um, you could, given that it's a figure that's in demand, you can resell it, you know? So it's like, you know, clampdown is in demand. So I, I felt a little bad, but not super bad. So he's just got this clamp down and for all I know, he's resold it. I don't know. But then time passes. He finds himself at Rost and then he's like, yo dude, um, I, I have the battle across time pack. Uh, do you want the side swipe in it? Um, I, I'll split the pack with you basically. Cause he, he wanted sky warp. I wanted side swipe. And that's like, all right, all right, buddy. And he's like, I'm in line. I already bought it. Okay, great. So it's like, I will buy that from you. Oh, uh, so yeah. So he grabs this. Oh, by the way, do you still have that clamp down? Yes. So he puts it in this loving package. We we uh, um, settle on a settle on a price, and I have I have these two Lambros on my way. So now I have another arm of decision making um because for those of you keeping track in this telling of the story i don't have a uh g2 sideswipe and now i don't have kingdom red alert the figure that i had decided i didn't want but now i totally wanted which is totally the pattern with uh with these guys but fortunately um uh, ben Yi, uh, BWTF, uh, Ben's Worlds of uh, uh, Ben's World of Transformers, scouts out that Walgreens has Kingdom Red Alert back in stock, a new allocation. So by the time I decided I wanted it, it was getting expensive because it was a Walgreens exclusive uh, that that had been um, clearanced out. Um, and it was harder to find at, at retail. Um, I was looking for loose ones and, um, they were more than I wanted to pay for them. So, but anyway, BWTF, uh, sees, sees a listing, um, that, uh, that, that kingdom red alert is back up. And, uh, I, uh, what fortuitous timing, uh, because then that's about the time that my buddy, uh, Ant at TFU.info, uh, Transformers University, uh, Transformers News and Views, and, and of course his new Patreon show, Seven Figures, uh, which if you're, if you're not on the TFU.info Patreon, um, uh, you're missing a really fun show. Uh, Ant does a really good job unboxing seven figures in an individual episode. But anyway, he and, a couple other folks and it's so cool when you as part of your collector persona talk about the things that you're into and that your friends um start enabling you so like anytime there's something with a transformers the movie call out on the package um i i've got folks that that will uh let me know about that um likewise with with regards to the uh, Lambros, uh, the same thing as well. So anyway, so Ant sends me this and he's like, um, yeah, so kingdom red alert is back up. Um, and, but also you might want to toss something in the, in the package for free shipping. So I did indeed talking to your microphone. Um, I, I did indeed make an order with Walgreens. And so, um, so that's going to be the next item we're going to unbox. And so, I mean, I've already opened it and taken a look at uh, shipping label goes this way uh, and get the uh, manifest out of there. And within there, oh, I hear stuff in the box. There is a, oh, this isn't a transformer. I, I bought myself a puck of, uh, of hair goo uh, that you can now see here. But also, oh, in addition to the, um, uh, the hair product. Um, I, I also got myself, oh, there's my shipping label. Uh, anyway, there, there's a kingdom red alert in there. 
So there you go. We'll throw that off to the side. So this, this guy is mint in box. I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at it. I haven't played with it. So um, let's do that right now. I, so I'm going to unbox this and add it to the army. And then, um, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll, we'll talk about uh, more of these figures in more detail. Um, how do I want to do that? Let's see. Letter opener. Um, maybe this is something that I can use on uh, Facebook trolls. I kid, of course. Um, uh, figuratively in a in a virtual space or something. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna uh, take my letter opener here and I'm gonna um, snip some tape. And this should just slide right out here. Oh, that is very convenient. Okay, so freed from his boxed prison. Oh, I should have mentioned this earlier. So this is a, um, so it's in a kingdom box, but it I bought it at a time, and I don't know if this is part of the, the Walgreens or whatever, but it does indeed have a plastic window. You could probably see some of the glare uh, there on the video. Um, it's got uh, instructions, which I don't need. I can... Uh, um, I, I can, I can transform this guy. I, I think so probably blindfolded at this point, but anyways, get rid of the box. And so he is here in the tray. There he is. Um, uh, kingdom red alert. Now, um, another thing about, uh, uh, kingdom red alert here as, oh man, this is going to be a lot of cutting. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell the story. Um, as I go, as I, um, as I, as I snip some of these ties, um, I, as, as I've already said a couple times, I initially passed on the, on the earth mode tooling of the, um, of the Lambros. One of the first dominoes to get me to uh be interested though in the earth tooling uh earth mode tooling I mean, is um when we were getting ready to do sidefest northwest we had a um we had a badge stuffing party um over at um jamal's place uh just kind of getting ready for um uh, getting ready for the convention and he's he's got a really cool display um uh it's it's all chug all the time and he's got like a like a dozen or so detolfs and he's got them lined up in armies and it's it's just a really cool uh vibe and aesthetic and and um and a way of uh, displaying them i don't know if he's shared uh photos of his collection or not but the thing that um that i liked is like so he you know he's got like a separate diaclone area and he's so so that's where his uh deep cover and tiger track live but um i don't remember where his uh kingdom red alert was but did i get it oh i got it okay great Okay, so he he is now free. I'm gonna set him aside for a sec. I just need to get his light bar, and then I've got, um, and then I've got him. So um, anyway, so he wherever he had his um, uh, red alert, I had. Oh, man, this is this is not this is not coming. I'm gonna have to use the letter opener on uh, this guy. Uh, bu -bu 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 oh, I'm gonna cut you. Oh, I'm going to cut you. Oh, come on. Okay. So Nick had asked me a question earlier about uh, backgrounds. So this is the backdrop that comes with um, a Kingdom Red Alert. As you can see, it is the Kingdom style. So it has like the etched golden disc, but it, but it's, but it's got a window in it. So to me, this, this is useless for, for display, I think. So, I, I don't even know if I'm going to keep that box. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I, so, um, it, it was my first time seeing, um, seeing kingdom red alert, um, in the flesh. And, um, I, I was really taken by it 
because he is very different than um than the sideswipe guys so um there he is there in robot mode and the the detail that really caught my eye was the uh was his red limbs none of the other siege guys have red limbs so for me that was um enough uh for me to be uh for me to be interested in uh in this guy so you know and, and that and that lines up at the same time around the time that um that Garrett was finding clampdown and then finding the uh uh, battle across time uh two pack so basically this all happens in a very short amount of time so it goes from um uh to just these guys to suddenly um i've got these two guys in one shot followed by um this guy oh, okay so when i say sorry these guys meaning um clamp down and earth mode sideswipe forgetting where the camera is so these two guys clamp down kingdom sideswipe earth mode and then uh kingdom red alert so i've got all of these in hand and at this point i'm thinking i'm ready to do my video but then i um uh, TFCon comes and the last piece of the puzzle, of course, is uh G2 sideswipe here. So that's unorganized. That is all of them. Or is it? Um I I I am going to wade into a little bit of uh controversy here um because there there is one more figure that I believe belongs in the uh super sentai uh lambo ranger army and that is gigawatt or gigawatt depending upon what what your preferred pronunciation is i say gigawatt because that's how doc brown says it in the movie in uh in back to the future um Jeremy from Transmissions um, says uh, gigawatt because I believe that is actually the proper pronunciation. Technically, Christopher Lloyd is wrong, but for me, it's a quote from the movie. So for me, he's gigawatt. Um, don't ask me how I feel about the GIF GIF uh, type of thing, because uh, what will happen is that my... Um, uh, hypocrisy and inconsistency will uh, uh, will certainly be on display because um, I, I don't remember what it is in reference to, but like I I went around saying like, well, you know, the movie isn't called Guardians of the Galaxy, and I came to find out that like it wasn't something that a friend of mine said. It, it was a it was a reference to something else. So um, anyway, um. I'm just picking up some of these little little plastic jobbies here. Uh, get them out of the way. Um, also, if uh, Hasbro is looking to decrease uh, plastic, yeah, they, they should really get rid of the ties. I like that the Walmart figures are using more just like rope and whatnot. Um, I, I like that. Um, but anyhow, so this uh, Back to the Future Transformers collaborative crossover figure um uh pick this guy up um it's dated 2020 but i think i got him in in 21 i don't remember i've had him for a while and also we we are going to do uh, some unboxing we're going to take this guy out of the box because uh if if you um have been following me i have two of these one of them was a gift from a coworker. And that one is on display on my desk at work. So I left Friday night full well looking to bring that figure home with me. And I forgot. I've had a busy, uneventful week. Uneventful week? The other one. Uh, it's been a very eventful week. Uh, not up to and including doing four hours worth of um, 
a TFCon hangover live stream. And I think just now uh, I'm recording this on Saturday morning. I think I'm just now kind of getting my bearings back in terms of uh, uh, being uh, TFCon hungover. Uh, but anyway, so um, I was intending to keep this guy mint in box, but um, I'm not gonna. We're gonna open this guy right now and we're gonna put it with the entire squad um, and then as, as I said, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about each, um, each figure individually. So, um, let me see if I remember how this guy goes. Um, because while I am going to, uh, take him out, I would like, uh, to, to kind of minimize the, the amount of, um, uh, molestation to the, uh, uh, to the packaging. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna snip this little chunk of tape here with, uh, with my letter opener. And I hope that, that, um, that, that does the trick. So this, um, okay. Oh, okay. So then we'll get this guy open. And then from here, this should just, the cardboard should just slide right out. Okay. So I'm going to gingerly set that box off to the side. Um, and again, this guy doesn't necessarily have a uh, backdrop. I mean, it kind of does. You know, it's very, uh, very future uh, uh, themed. But one thing I do want to talk about since, uh, um, uh, since we were, we were talking packaging earlier. So this, um, a uh, gigawatt is uh, uh, packaged in car mode, in DeLorean mode, vehicle mode, alt mode, wh which is perfect because it's it's more of a DeLorean than a robot. Um, whereas a lot of the uh, the current War for Cybertron figures, where where they seem to be going with Transformers, is to uh, package them in robot mode. I really liked that um uh folks like like clampdown and that um uh the velocitron series is in car mode it, it's it's very uh very throwbacky i um i really like that so anyway we're gonna take this uh, uh backdrop set it off to the side within the tray you've got um uh the the uh the vehicle the figure um his uh light pole thing, a lightning rod collecting pole thing, and uh, and his gun. And um, on the back of it, or the undercarriage, you can see his uh, um, his robot head, so robot head visible, and um, and so there you go. He, um, I, I really like this figure. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. But the thing that um, the reason why we're taking a look at this guy and you know what, for these purposes, I think, oh, no, his uh, his gun pops out. So I'm just going to pop a uh, pop his gun out of the blister here. What I was going to say is, you know, for these purposes, I'm not necessarily going to um, uh, 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 take all the all the stuff out because, you know, just so he can be posed with the thing. But anyway, he's got a gun, and with that, it has a little uh, Mr. Fusion on the back of the gun that pops off, and that can uh, pop onto the car. So now you have a DeLorean. Now the, the uh, oh, I just threw it behind me. But anyway, the, the pole uh, goes into uh, this hole here and extends out, uh, thus uh, completing the look. Um, so anyway, so that's, I mean, that's all of them. So. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't make my point. Gigawatt, gigawatt, whatever you want to call him is a sideswipe because he is a heavy retool of the, uh, sideswipe mold. And I think as we go through, I, I, like I say sideswipe and I'm holding up clamp down, but, um, but as we, uh, go through you'll see that they they share a lot of parts almost all the parts basically it's a sideswipe body with uh with Ma um mandalorian uh delorean um skinning on him so um so yeah we'll we'll we'll, we'll talk as we go so at this point uh, what i want to do is talk about 
these figures individually and tell you some stories about how I got them, where I came from, where they came from, and do, I don't know, just do do like a little mini review of each. So I am each one and um, I talk about each individual details. I'm going to take a quick hit of my water and then um, then we'll get going. I keep thinking some troll one of these days is going to go through my live streams and snip out all the instances of me like just drinking water because I don't know how other content creators do it where they just go uh, on a live stream for hours. And, you know, it, it's interesting too, because like for me doing solo podcasting, it is harder because like when I'm doing interviews and I'm talking to guests and I'm talking to my friends, it's very easy to take a, a water break. But when, uh, when I'm by myself, it's like, I don't know what to do other than to just stop and say, you know what? I'm going to take a drink of water. And there it is again. Okay. So at this point, bear with me. I am going to shift the perspective a little bit. So I'm going to move the camera so that we can get a better view of the individual toys and um, how they stack up uh, with each other. I think that's going to work. One more. Ooh, there we go. How about that? Okay. So um, th there, th there was a couple different ways that I can go, you know, um, first let's talk about the order of release because you know, it, it th this is going to be kind of interesting because I have, if you could see on the video, I have some in robot mode, some in car mode. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's just a little bit of a mess right now. So we'll, we'll sort this out. So, um, how many are there? How many side swipes are there? Well, let's see. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, so there are currently twelve examples of uh, this mold and this tooling. Um, so in release order, you start with Sideswipe in Siege, then Red Alert, and then, oh, this is going to fall apart because I, I actually don't know the, the, uh, the order of release. I don't, I don't know when the Generation Selects ones came out in relation to um, uh, the G2 one and, and the Netflix one. So I'm just going to forget all about that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about them in the order that I received them, the order I got them. So thanks for bearing with me. Um, it all starts with this guy. Blue deep cover, Netflix deep cover. This is the figure that kicks off the entire Lambo craze. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move my camera back. One sec. see this way I can hold up and talk about the toy more uh, more clear oh hey yeah see look at that that looks um that looks a little better okay so um let's wind the clocks back a year or two I I think it was in 2020 um I have zero interest in sideswipe as a character so therefore i have i have no interest in this mold or this tooling i don't have any of these figures but i think i don't remember if it was on twitter but i had seen pictures of this character the the this blue deep cover this blue sideswipe 
And I saw it and I had posted something to the effect of like, oh man, I really like those colors. I might have to buy this figure. Um, and because it's a Walmart exclusive, he's a little tougher to find, um, or was a little tougher to find. I, I had, I was living in federal way at the time. And so I had two Walmarts near me, but once I moved, it was, a uh, um, a little harder. So anyway, so, um, my buddy Garrett, uh, at nemesis slime, um, uh, finds himself at a Walmart. We live in the same state. We, we both live in Washington, uh, but um, some distance away. Um, so he gets different stuff in his Walmarts than I get in mine. So he's shopping and he sees this guy and he's like, um, hey, Mike, I, I found um, I found deep cover. Do you want him? And I was faced with the decision of to politely decline and just maybe like try to see if I can find this guy in the wild or to uh, uh, take him up on it and, uh, and, um, and buy it off him. So I did. And it shows up and it shows up in vehicle mode, uh, very similar to uh, the other examples I just showed you, um, you know, uh, Earth mode sideswipe and uh, and clamp down, and even in vehicle mode, I I really liked it and I really liked the presentation of it. So actually, so um, if I was smarter, I would have uh, converted this guy into vehicle mode so that you can um, uh, kind of kind of see and experience it that way first. But I guess we'll go backwards. Um, so we'll start with the robot mode, and um, um. I like everything about this, uh, um, this figure, uh, the tooling, the deco, um, all of it. And one of the things that was controversial about, uh, siege particularly, and I think they had done away with the battle damage by the time Earthrise came around, but I don't remember off the top of my head was the battle damage. Now, since this is a Walmart, figure exclusively for the netflix series it's obviously going to have the battle damage as well but because of the specific colors that this figure is i like the battle damage on this figure and i'll go even further that i think of all the figures that i have and of all the figures that have battle damage this is the figure that wears it the best and I think it's because of the specific colors. So let's, so I, I want to uh, talk about this in, in um, even more detail. If you look at his coloring, he's blue, but he's, he's like a specific indigo, um, which is one of my favorite, favorite colors. And it's the color combination. It's the, the blue the gray on the body with the black accents. And then the battle damage is a combination of black and a metallic silver. So there's some metallic silver um, on his shins. And then um, I'll show this off better when I get him into robot mode, but there's, there's a strip of silver um, that lines the front of the hood, basically the front fender that looks like it's um it, it's paint that has been skimmed off um so a really cool effect but um these uh th this coloring is personal to me like um if you've known me for any period of time you probably know that most of the clothes in my wardrobe are blue um and a lot of stuff i have is blue I don't know how I didn't end up being a Thundercracker fan um, because of since he's navy blue. This guy isn't. This, this is a little lighter. It's a little more vibrant. I like this uh, the shade of blue. But these colors, uh, blue, black, and silver, um, are the, the colors that my wife had for our wedding. So, and them in combination like this, um, obviously that's 
not how it was uh, presented, but that's how it ended up being um, all together in one action figure. I've never seen another Transformers figure with this combination of blue, black, gray, and silver. So for me, um, this, this particular figure will always be special um, just because it's, it's all of those things. Um, so anyway, um, I, I don't know what, what, what to talk about with this guy. He has, he has as much articulation as you would expect for a deluxe. You know, he, he has a, um, a joint in his shoulder. I think it's a ball joint to where you could get pretty good range of motion. He does have a, a bicep swivel. Um, he does not have any um, wrist articulation. Uh, basically, the only thing resembling any kind of hand articulation is the joint in his wrist that curves in, uh, and and that's just to aid in transferring. So you can you can turn his hand inward, but there's um, uh, there there's no other. Um, articulation there in in his hand so that that's his arms i mean again pretty good range of motion pretty good range of motion um around his arm there um and again if you're just joining us i am talking about the uh transformers war for cybertron um netflix series deep cover I, as a larger presentation of the sideswipe mold um these are new contemporary figures not necessarily uh ones uh ones from the 80s um he has uh well, let's start down so um he's he does have um some leg articulation he does have a ankle rocker which um kind of aids in his transformation there um he does have good uh, knee articulation, so it's like you can kick his, um, you know, he can step back. Um, he has a ball joint around his hip, so, and is that thigh articulation? No, it's all, it's all in the hip, so it's like he can, he can rotate, you know, his, his leg pretty much all the way around. Um you know, if if you're a fan of uh, Bobby Skullface, he can he can do the uh, um, uh, the Van Dam. He can also do uh, uh, the Full Monty pretty well. Um, but yeah, so I mean, so you know, pretty uh, dynamic, realistic uh, posing. He also has a waist swivel, um, and again, that's that's mostly for transformation. He does not have an ab crunch, but. Um, but he's he's a smaller deluxe, so I wouldn't expect that. Um, and uh, oh, and and he has uh, some neck articulation. He can look up. He can look down. You can spin his head all the way around. Um, so yeah. So I mean, overall, for at the time, what was a twenty dollar deluxe? Um, a lot of good posability in this guy. I I can I can do a lot of poses with him. And he's, um, he's a lot of fun. And you heard me talk about a moment ago. You heard me talk a, a moment ago about why this figure resonated with me so much. And it's because of the coloring. But then what I also discovered is that he's just fun. I mean, again, he's not a, not a large figure, decent sized deluxe, and he's just fun to fiddle with. Um, this particular version of the character comes with uh, a two-part weapon, uh, which I currently have displayed uh, as a pistol and a um, shoulder-mounted rocket launcher. But basically, the it comes in two pieces. There's this uh, bazooka-looking thing, and then there's this uh, handgun-looking thing, which you could uh, combine together in this uh, this port to where it's... Um, where it's one gun or one bazooka. And as we'll see, there's a, there's different combinations 
of this weapon that these figures come with. So it's it's kind of interesting as 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 we kind of uh, um, go through the array. But this one, uh, uh, Netflix Deep Cover just has the one weapon. So it's either like one big rocket launcher or it's a it's a handgun and a shoulder mounted bazooka. Um, so there's two ports on the gun one is like a a where it can fit in his hand um fit in his hand or it can fit on any number of five millimeter ports on him so you you could you could put it like on on his wrist you know have like a like a wrist gun or whatever um and then with uh the other thing the bazooka piece that's the same thing. It's got it's got a five millimeter port on it or a five millimeter post where you can stick that either um, in his hand or um, or in any number of his ports here. So, um, you know, so you can you can uh, uh, again stick it on his uh, forearm or on his um, on his uh, uh, shoulder. Um, or I mean, something you could do for fun is you take, uh, you take these guys, you put them back together and I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to look at the instructions to see which way is which, because you can, you can pop that in however you like to get a few different combinations. Um, well, let me look at it on red alert here. So it looks like. Okay, so the more flared end is the is the quote unquote front because that that's how it looks out of the box. Anyway, so the oh, I had it backwards. But what one of the the configurations I've done is you put the weapon back together, and you can put it on his um, shoulder, and it looks uh you know it's like an extra arm gun. Um, or you can put it on his wrist as one piece. And um, so now now Deep Cover has a Megatron style fusion cannon. Um, so anyway, so I mean, I, I love this five millimeter post and port system. It's a it's a lot of fun and a lot of cool combinations. The other thing is on the weapon is there's a, there's a flat port as well that matches up with ports on his shoulders there uh, the tops of his shoulders there's one on each so you can pop in the weapon off to either side of his head so in this case um I'll put it on one side of his head and so that um you got some attitude there or you can and, and this is why I wasn't sure which which end was what because you can take it and then you can flip it on the other side uh but then it's like oh man but but his gun's facing the other way now see what you do is you you pop that out and you pop that in here and and there you go so now now so he can he can wear the missile launcher on either side of it i i don't think i said that very well basically like the handgun the the second piece is either a missile for the missile launcher or a handgun um regardless of how you want to do it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to um, uh, convert this dude uh, real quick. Um, he has, I believe, uh, 15 steps. I'm not necessarily going to uh, narrate um, all of the steps that I do, but really like um, these, this particular mold uh, transforms in 15 steps, I believe. And for me, that's that's just about right and one of the things i'll talk to probably when i start uh flipping these back around um into robot mode from vehicle mode is that it it doesn't remind me of sideswipe it reminds me of um of the dotson mold of um uh, prowl and blue streak and smokescreen and uh and those dudes so anyway so now i've uh i've got uh blue deep cover netflix deep cover um into vehicle mode and in this mode that i i really want to point out a lot of great details that i like again 
um, you can see the um, the more pronounced battle damage on his chest, which is now the the hood and front fender of the car. Um, my camera doesn't focus on it especially well, but again, one of my my favorite details is the um the strip of silver across the hood and it has a really cool neat effect where it looks like the paint is being stripped off um from uh, uh from battle he also has a couple hits of uh black battle damage um you know he's got some carbon scoring it looks like you boys have seen a lot of action um which is fine that detail i can take or leave um I, I do like that there's some black there to uh, be complementary with the blue, but you know, as as like a um, uh, blaster damage thing, I, I kind of I could care less. But the thing I really want to point out to you is, and this this is my favorite feature on any of these figures. And it hasn't been duplicated in any of the other side swipes that we're going to see today. And it's this, this uh, scraping on the windshield. Um, basically, there the the windshield is um, opaque. It's smoky black. Um, uh, so yeah. So I mean, it is it is clear ish. Um, we're going to see some windshields that are more clear than others, but this one um, it's smoky black. And it has these streaks of silver paint um, that I think are very complementary with the the silver battle damage paint that's already on the front fender. And it just um, uh, my my Toyota Camry is navy blue, and sometimes when I drive, I get streaks across the um, hood of my car that look very similar to this. They're obviously not silver but they but they are streaks and um i don't want to say it looks cool because my my car is dirty when it looks like that but i think this is a really cool uh battle damage effect here where basically like it's um i don't know if the implication is that his cybertronian windscreen is uh, black metal and that it it's it's paint that's chipping off or being stripped or whatever but either way it's a really cool effect and i really really enjoy it so i don't know if if this figure isn't my first experience with the sideswipe mold that i get any of these because um not to bury the lead here but this is my favorite one. Um, and and for for all of the reasons that I've already said, um, one, you don't forget your first, but then also the coloring is so specific and so um iconic to me personally that that I like. Plus, he's a fun figure. Like when I first got him and he was the only one, I just fiddled with him constantly you know just constantly flipping him back and forth uh between vehicle mode and uh and robot mode um uh, a couple of things also on the on the vehicle mode here uh this particular paint the the primary blue is flat it's a it's a very matte finish um you can see the light kind of dancing off it a bit the the uh, the windshield, the windscreen is very glossy, but the um, uh, the rest of it is very matte. And I really, really like that matte finish. Uh, the, the silver on the wheels are also kind of muted and kind of dull, uh, kind of matching the silver, um, uh, the, the flecks of silver paint. But that's it for, for paint decos. So you have the stuff on the windscreen, you have the battle damage on the chest, but nothing else that presents in vehicle mode aside from um, a couple taillights here. So no additional battle damage and no um, additional paint apps. The only other paint apps to speak of would be the um, uh, the silver battle, battle damage on his shins, uh, which now presents as the underside of the car. So, um, so this is, oh, and um, there are three 
uh, five millimeter ports on uh, on the vehicle mode. There's one on top um, above the windscreen and then one off to either side. So you can you again, you have options with the weapon. You can put uh, the combined weapon uh, with the the handgun slash missile missile in the launcher on top or off to either side. And I, again, I've bought a lot of these, so they, they do uh, present in different ways. Some of them are like on the side. Oh, like a, like a, a clamp down here. You know, it's like a, it's a, it's got it on the side. Um, but anyway, so you can, you can do that or you can um, split up. Uh, again, you can take the, the missile slash handgun out and you can put that um, onto the side as well. So there, so there's a, um, there's several different configurations that um, uh, that you can do with that. So, so that's um, that is uh, Netflix deep cover. And now I'm trying to figure out how I want to display these guys. I should probably display them all in robot mode, right? So, like if um, a as I um, transform these into vehicle mode. I don't know if I'm going to transform them all into vehicle mode. What do you think? Do you, do you need to see all of these uh, converted into vehicle mode? W we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, so but I think for like the final display, I think they should all be in robot mode. But um, but we'll uh, um, but that's going to take uh, that's going to take some extra time. So um, we'll uh, fortunately it's a it's a very quick. Uh, transformation there on uh, on these guys, and it doesn't really uh, take all that long. And again, I apologize. I I if I if I were a better uh, toy reviewer slash um, fat guy talking about uh, toys, I would probably be explaining better the individual steps that um, that that I'm doing as I go. But like I've intuitively messed with this mold so much it's 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 just very intuitive for me and and there he goes now now he's uh now he's back um so we're gonna set um uh netflix deep cover off to the side and we'll come back to him so um so as i said that was the first one i got and um which one did I get next? I think the next one I got. Yes. The next one I got was generation selects deep cover. So I go from Netflix deep, deep cover to actual deep cover. Now, um, deep cover presents very differently than, than, um, um, his Netflix counterpart. There are way more, um, paint apps on him and he has a really cool coloring. He's, um, he is glossy black with, um, uh, blue accents and his arms and legs are minty white of all of these. Well, actually him and tiger track as well. The generation selects coloring of this particular mold. These are the ones that have the mintiest, whitest, um, uh, arms and legs there. So, um, he also, so he has all the same articulation. All of these all have the same articulation and tooling, but since this is a generation selects figure, you, you start to get into, um, getting a little more, whereas, uh, the Netflix figures are very basic, um, and don't come with a lot and don't have as many paint applications as maybe some of the others, but the biggest difference with, um, with deep cover is that he comes with in addition to the original weapon he also has a new weapon in that he comes with a rifle now uh the rifle in this for deep cover is painted silver and it has a five millimeter post but then it also has a five millimeter hole in it so th so that gives um um a few more play value options that, that we'll talk about in a few. Um, so that, that fits in his hand, um, or it can fit into any number of the posts. Now his rocket launcher and handgun is 
um, quite a bit different uh, from the uh, uh, Netflix version in that there are many more paint applications. First of all, the handgun slash missile is painted white. Um, and you can uh, you can see that uh, where the white paint is and where the plastic, uh, the black plastic is underneath for uh, those two five millimeter posts. Now, on the actual launcher, there's also additional paint applications around the barrel. So on this one, you know which one is the front because it's the one that is painted silver. And again, you can um, uh, combine these and use those in all of those other combinations that we talked about. So I'm going to transform this guy um, uh, very quickly. But again, like um, I, I like the the flash of blue the blue is uh, again different than uh than blue deep cover um i like uh the face on this guy i think like that color blue and the blue eyes work very well um uh, but yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna flip this dude um into uh robot mode actually you know what i'm gonna do i i think since i haven't already I'm going to talk about the steps. Um, that way I don't have to do it anymore and I'll just, I'll just continue to do it. So his, the first thing I do, and I don't think these are in the right order, but I, I flip his chest up, um, up over his head. And he has another piece that that's basically like his, um, uh, waist and torso that flips down and you get a little bit of visible head syndrome. Uh, but it, but it's not bad. Um, he has these louvers. Well, no, they're not louvers. Uh, they're, they're, they're basically the doors. These flip out. And then that's when you can start tucking his arms in, starting by folding in his fists. You fold in uh, the fists and then fold the arm down. And then uh, bend at the elbow, and then that tucks into a notch directly underneath uh, the the exposed chest. So that goes down um, that way. And then um, all, what? Another thing I like about uh, this particular mold is that he's um, it's very basic. There's 15 steps, but it's also very generous. So like there, there are some more complicated molds that, um, that are a little more tabby. This one, you can, you can flip around a few different ways and, and it's still generous and it still kind of works and not everything has to be tabbed in super tight, which is part of the reason why I like it. Um, but then, yeah, so you, you flip, uh, flip the doors down, uh, rotate his waist. Um, there, there are panels on the front of his shins that open flip the feet up, um, up into the now exposed, uh, shins. And, um, there's, there's a little clip, uh, just below his knees that you can attach the two leg parts together to fall to, to form the, uh, what is essentially the back of the vehicle. And that flips up. You, you, uh, uh, bend him at the knee fold the uh the thighs back into the gap and then that all kind of tabs in close the um the flaps from his shins and put down the doors um i thought i had done that already and there you go now he's in vehicle mode now um i'm not familiar as much with the diaclone uh deep cover character so it's uh, this is really kind of like my my uh, first experience with him. Um, he's really cool. Um, he's he's got the same matte silver as uh, uh, same, same, uh, wheels and rims as Netflix Deep Cover. But this guy is basically a Batmobile. I mean, it is a almost all black car. Um, he has a badge on the on the um, front. He also has um, paint applications on his headlights. There, there's a flash of blue. There's also a flash of red. 
um, and his um, um, Autobot symbol is tampoed on there. These are all tampos, by the way. There's no stickers on any of these. Um, the windshield is different in that it, it's it's smoky here, um, whereas um, Netflix deep cover is smoky dark. Now, if um, um, if you look in, you can actually see uh, since the other parts are so blinding white, you can see them through the smoky glass or, I mean, or the, the smoky windscreen. He also has two other symbols. Um, I believe those are badges, but he's got two badges on the side of um, of the windscreen. And he's got a couple uh, flashes of blue from where his shoulders are. Um, I'm sure somebody could complain that having that flash of blue there uh, breaks up the black, but I I like that actually. I um I I think it it adds to the the um the aesthetic of it, and you could even see. And I don't know if this is because I don't have it tabbed in uh tightly or all the way, but there there are um a couple visible bits of um uh of of blue in there as well. Oh, I think my neighbors just got home. Um, uh, there, there's a uh, um, some flashes of blue in there that I think kind of add to the uh, to the black. But the other thing I want to talk about, and actually now that the time of day is starting to change, um, you can see more of the lights here in my studio room. But the light when it catches uh, deep cover here, uh, generation selects deep cover, black deep cover. When you see him here. This is high gloss, whereas um, the other uh, deep cover was very matte. So this is one of those things where it's like you, you got to be careful how you touch it because you get uh, you get fingerprints all over it. It is it's very high gloss and it's um, it, it's it's a very cool look. Um, I got this guy in a uh, bundle package deal. Uh, from a, uh, local collector. I don't remember, uh, their name, but they're, but they're from the Seattle area and it was in the, the same bundle that I bought, uh, kingdom Cyclonus, um, the, the, um, alligator con or the, the alley con, the, you know, the, the, the Quintesson guard basically. Um, and a couple others basically like th that, that, um, purchase, from that collector was where I started drawing the line about like, you know what? I, I want the transformers, the movie figures. I want the 1986 characters and I don't want to wait for them to come out in studio series 86 boxes. As, as you might remember, I, um, I, I used to be like really partisan about it. In fact, actually, sorry. While, while I'm in mid conversion with deep cover here, um, I, I've got his back to the camera and you can see just how clear that windscreen is. In fact, it's not smoky at all. It's completely clear. That's how you can see through it. it it's, it's got a little bit of black tinting, but it's not smoky and it's not opaque. Um, I just noticed that as I was, um, um, transforming this guy here, uh, back into robot mode, uh, for him to go on to, uh, display with, uh, uh, with the rest. So anyway, so that's, uh, so that is actual deep cover, uh, AKA generation selects deep cover. I'm going to set him over here. Okay. So, um, damn it. I, I forgot, I forgot what, uh, um, I forgot what I was talking about and I lost, uh, lost the thread, um, with that story there, something about deep cover. I don't know. Um, I'll, 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 I'll hear it in editing and I'll be like, Oh man, really? I couldn't, um, I really couldn't pick up that, that thread back up. Oh, well. Um, so, Oh, I'm sorry that, that, um, buying, buying that lot of figures was really kind of what got me to change my perspective on waiting for, Transformers the movie's characters not in Studio Series 86 boxes cuz I was I was initially intending to stick with that that it's like well if it's not in a Studio Series 86 box I'm not going to buy it 
um, which in retrospect is now ludicrous because now I have several figures. Um, and I remember when I went to uh, Cybefest Northwest in 2021, it was the, um, I, I bought a few figures, including a, a Kingdom Ultra Magnus uh, loose with a, with an upgrade kit on it. And it's like, um, because I don't, I don't think we're ever going to see a studio series 86 boxed branded transformers, the movie ultra Magnus. And I wanted one. So that lot where I got kingdom Cyclonus, which should have been in studio series 86. I mean, it, it would have been one thing if Cyclonus was in the, kingdom tv show that have been fine all is forgiven but he wasn't so why is he in kingdom whatever i i i can't won't litigate that here today but it's it just kind of opened my eyes to how weird these uh um figure assortments can be the other figure i bought at side fest that year um, along with, uh, ultra Magnus. And I think a couple others is deep covers, uh, diaclone buddy tiger track. So I, um, so at this point I'm three Lambros deep and tiger track is very similar to deep cover. He has, um, he does have the rifle, uh, this time it's black. Um, he also has the same launcher um except as you could see the handgun is yellow plastic painted silver the launcher does not have the silver paint app that um that deep cover does and i like um i like tiger track a lot um i'm not so much into yellow you know it's 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 not uh it's not my favorite um, coloring or whatever, but I like this figure. And one of the things that I like about it is, um, uh, the, the face, the head sculpt. Again, these are all identical. Um, it's the same face sculpt, but each one has slightly different, um, coloring to it. And I like this one because like contrasted with the bright yellow, the, the I mean, this is, this is French's mustard yellow. Um, with the black head and the blue eyes, he does have painted blue eyes. Um, he, it, it just, it looks really cool. And again, um, I, I like that he's got the minty white forearms and thighs. Um, so he's really cool. Um, I, I am not going to bother, uh, transforming this one. I'm not going to bother converting him, but the thing I do want to point out to you is that like, deep cover he does have a completely clear um uh windshield so on the video i mean you could see the light pass right through it put my hand on the right side dummy um anyway so yeah so so i think actually you know what ah, screw it i i've i've got it halfway done i'm just going to i'm just going to finish uh um transforming him because I'm trying to remember if I if I've actually flipped this guy into um into car mode before. I might not have because there, there there's a detail here that I actually kind of want to see um how that um how that all looks. So I'm gonna flip this guy for a few. Uh, we're gonna f again flip the arms around and we're gonna Okay. I, I said it was, I, I know I said it was generous, like in terms of like how, um, not tab down it needs to be, but like, I, I still got to like put the head down enough so that the, the, um, uh, the front gets clearance there. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish, uh, this guy. Um, I, I got halfway done with it and I was trying to talk myself out of it. Uh, joints are really tight on this uh this particular copy um maybe he hadn't been converted as uh as much um 
But regardless, oh, I got to flip the waist around. There we go. And so now it's just audio of me uh, struggling with not having a foot all the way in. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, all tabbed in. So, wow. Okay, so I, I, I have not um, uh, converted Tiger Track into to vehicle mode before because I would have remembered this. This guy looks cool. He he's basically Sunstreaker, um, or um, yellow sideswipe. But like, what I like about it again, it still has the same uh, matte silver wheels that the other uh figures we saw but he's got um um he has a strip of black paint on uh on his front fender the headlights are painted silver uh again the clear windshield but the thing that i really like here on this guy is how the um the black in his shoulder and on the door and the extra paint application of black here on um, on the back part just behind the door um, really is really sleek. There's also um, extra bits of black paint along the top um, facing the front behind the windshield. So there's there's a lot of flashes of black to cut the um, uh, the canary yellow, the the French's mustard yellow. Um, of tiger track here. Um, so that, that's really cool. Now, um, I would have liked, because again, uh, tiger track has the same problem that deep cover has in that the windshield is so clear. You can, it, it's the windshield is so clear and his arms and that mechanism is so minty white that you can see it through the window. I would have preferred this to be, um, a smoky black or opaque or, something just to, um you know just just to give it that extra flash of black which I, I i think is um uh really really cool but the the other thing i want to talk about here so for as glossy as deep cover is tiger track is matte so this this french's uh uh french's mustard yellow is uh very flat very matte just like uh, Netflix deep cover. Oh, he doesn't have painted taillights. Oh, that's interesting. Um, everybody else does. Um, so maybe the, maybe I, I don't know the economy of paint applications, but I wonder like if they swapped painting the tops here for not painting the, um, uh, the backs there. So, uh, but anyway, there, there's tiger track. I, I like this figure way more than I thought I would like. Um, because I mean, again, I, I don't, I don't necessarily have a deep, strong affection or nostalgia for, uh, Diaclone and Diaclone repaints and Diaclone inspired characters. Um, and it's just because it's stuff that I haven't experienced and don't have a lot of, um, additional affection for the exception being blue blue streak for exactly the same reasons why i like that netflix um uh the the netflix sideswipe uh deep cover blue deep cover um because it, it it's that that usage of silver and blue and black and gray um i think uh, uh i really like that color scheme um and for the time when uh, Netflix, when 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 I had Netflix Blue Deep Cover, I was thinking, "Oh man, when are we going to get a blue blue streak?" Uh, turns out we got him, and um, I like it okay. Um, I I'm not the biggest fan of that uh, the contemporary version of the Dotson mold, and. Um, and the shade of blue is not quite what I would like. I, I would like it to be more like the, the Netflix blue uh, for my sensibility, very similar to the masterpiece. Um, so I have a, a MP 18 B or S. No, I think it's, I think it's B, but anyway, it's, it's, it's the, it's the diaclone blue, blue streak. That's mostly silver 
with uh with kind of like that indigo blue that that looks really cool uh let's keep moving otherwise we're not gonna get through these uh um these lambros um so from there oh what did i get next um i oh the so these uh these next three i don't remember which order i got them in because at this point i have three lambros and i'm pondering my next move and i think somewhere along the way i get um uh gigawatt so yeah so i i whenever that shipped and whenever my birthday was so I, so i've got i've i've got a few i would actually have to go through my pictures to find the chronology maybe these showed up at the same time but basically like i i think the first one i got of this next uh batch was netflix red alert so then you start getting into the diversions between or deviations between sideswipe and red alert um and with this being the netflix version of the character there is some additional battle damage deco so the thing with uh uh with red alert in this version this is the the netflix one where it's it has battle damage but it also has some extra um, color, color gradient. So he's got like some uh, flecks of silver on his shins, but um, where Red Alert's battle damage comes in is around like his chest and shoulders. It doesn't present as well here in this lighting as I would like, um, but basically like, um, I think we'll see it mo more when I get him into robot mode, but basically like, it's white his, his paint is white but then there's also kind of like a gray gradient going on there um uh red alerts come with the rifle but not the shoulder cannon or um handgun that that this whole piece um th that's the rocket launcher and the gun red alerts don't have them because they have the rifle and the light bar. Now, the thing with the uh, the light bar, it does come off because it, it is on a uh, five millimeter port. Um, so you could do a few different things with uh, uh, the light bar. Um, since it is a five millimeter post, you can put it in any one of these um, uh, ports. So it's a again just just like everything else but the thing now i mentioned this a while ago when i brought out deep cover i mentioned his uh rifle the stock of it has a five millimeter hole in it well what can you do with that you take the light bar and there's a post and you can stick that in the top of the rifle stock and now because the barrel of the rifle is also five millimeter it fits in red alert's hand or any other character with with a five millimeter hand and now um now you got yourself a battle axe so now uh fire chief red alert is ready to do violence um so yeah so the the netflix figures um of other characters are kind of uh kind of interesting like in terms of like the choices so the white on his uh thighs and forearms is more muted it's almost kind of like a uh bone it's yeah it's it, beige i guess not quite taupe because taupe is brown but um but yeah so he's um he's yeah, it's bone white. Um, it looks it looks pretty cool in hand, actually. Um, th with the different paint applications, it does give a extra uh, depth of feel to it. Um, I like his head sculpt. Um, I, I his head deco because I mean, again, it's the same sculpt, but this is a 
this is very much a you know a uh, uh, traditional red alert you know he's he's got the red helmet which is a little more muted uh but he has the silver painted painted face and the blue eyes so he uh, um he looks really cool there um but i want to get this guy into um uh, car mode so i can so i can kind of show you more and tell you a little more about this guy but i mean robot mode he looks pretty cool again he looks like all the rest of them um but yeah so let's uh let's let's see if i can i should almost be timing myself to see how quickly I can actually um, uh, get these uh, um, get these dudes into um, into vehicle mode uh, back and forth. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna swing these out, make sure there's enough clearance for his head. Flip the doors down. You know, with a yeah, I mean, I I don't think I'm in any degree of competition for for uh, uh, speed of transformation here, but like, um, you know, one, one of the things, uh, that we do at Sidefest is we have a, um, uh, transforming contest where it's like, you know, folks will compete to, to, um, oh yeah, no, this, this is all messed up. I got, I got to rotate his waist and I'm getting all up in my head cause I'm trying to do it quickly. And in doing so, not doing it, um, as efficiently as I would like. So anyway, this is, this is becoming, uh, this is becoming a problem here and he's kind of sloppily tabbed but um but there he is so so there is a uh, red alert in vehicle mode so he has um muted red matte wheels and rims there's a streak of red paint that goes uh in between the wheels up and down that that looks really cool uh you got the the black shoulders and uh, flashes of gray um, that look really cool as well. But what what I really like about this guy, th this guy's actually a contender for being uh, for being a, a really cool representation. First of all, the paint is glossy, so so it's a glossy finish, but it it has this cool gradient where at the front of it um, he has no painted um, uh, no paint on the headlights no i'm sorry they're they're painted white it's a different shade than than the rest anyway so there's um um a strip of gray paint um at at the lip of uh the front uh bumper fender basically but anyway there, there's this uh um, gradient that goes from glossy white to a it becomes gradually gray um, and then that goes across the entirety of the vehicle mode, kind of like going in and out between like this, this, um, this white and gray, uh, combination here, which I think is really cool. Um, the windshield is very similar to Netflix deep cover in that it is that smoky opaque and there's a single, uh, double crack in it. Um. I mean, a painted in crack uh, to emulate the battle damage. Um, so, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, it, it's fine to have a new um, feature of battle damage, but what I what I really like about um, this particular one is the, uh, uh, the the gradient of paint around the back of the vehicle. Um, no painted. Uh, tail lights. I think they spent their paint budget on the uh, gray white gradient on um, on red alert here. But I, I like the sides. I like the strip of red that goes from front to back. Um, that gives it a a really cool uh, completed uh, finished look. Um, so yeah, a lot more gray in uh, Netflix red alert than you would um, than you would expect from other red alerts um i i don't necessarily associate gray as being one of um one of red alerts colors but i think in this instance when they're um trying to do it with the uh the battle damage here i think um that works out okay and there he is back in uh robo mode so i'm gonna take him and i'm gonna put him back And then I think from there, 
Um, I got, um, oh, I didn't tell the story about these. So these, these next three all have pretty much the, the, the same story. I, um, I knew at that point I wanted to start collecting this mold. So I'm looking in various places. I'm looking on, uh, eBay and Mercari and, and that's, that's where I some combination of eBay's and Macari's um, all three are used. All three don't have their boxes, uh, but they, but they're, they're mint and complete, which is all I wanted. So the next one that I got, and, and again, I don't, I don't remember which ones I got from eBay. I don't remember which ones I got uh, from Macari. And I don't think any of the three um, I paid more than retail for. So I, I did get them relative. So it would be like retail plus shipping, but you know, I, I, I was satisfied with what I got. Um, I wasn't going to, I was going to be patient to not pay an arm and a leg. So putting it that way, anyhow, um, the, um, The audio on this is going to suck because I haven't been using my microphone. Um, so, uh, so next up is Siege Sideswipe. Technically, I mean, basically the first. Um, this, this figure isn't bad, but having experienced him in the order that I did with at least four other more exotic versions this version of sideswipe feels very bland um again not specifically bad but kind of bland so he has the um the single rocket launcher and the um unpainted uh handgun slash missile so uh the the handgun part is all red the rocket launcher part is black, so it's just red and black. Two uh, single colors there. Um, Sideswipe himself has a little bit of silver paint battle damage around his waist. The majority of the battle damage here is on the shins, where it, there's so much wash of silver paint on there, his shins are, are almost entirely silver which is kind of lame. Um, now, granted, this was the one of the first of the Siege line and the first of the ones with the battle damage, so maybe they're just experimenting, um, you know, kind of trying to find their way. Um, his feet are silver, and, that, um, and that's fine. Um, but the thing that I, I kind of have a little bit of a bone to pick with, and I don't know how accurate this is to what the character model should be, but his forearms and thighs are the same bone white as, um, as, as the Netflix versions. And this is like, like, um, actually, hang on. Let me, let me compare these two. I'm, a. I, I'm showing you, but I'm also looking for myself. And yeah, so comparing Siege Sideswipe to Netflix Red Alert, yeah, his arms and thighs are the same color. That that kind of like um, almost taupe kind of off white eggshell white bone color, um, which I would think of this being like the primary version of Sideswipe that the arms and thighs uh, would be as minty white as uh, Tiger Track or Deep Cover. In fact, let me uh, let me grab a, a Tiger Track here. So yeah, so I mean, like even even in this not great light, you can you could see a significant color difference, shade difference in in the legs. So I I kind of don't I kind of don't like that, but it's kind of whatever I, again like i said i i don't i don't care about sideswipe as a character um and of the figures that i have talked about so far 
I don't know if this is my least favorite, but it's it's pretty again, it's bland. But one of the, th the first things that that you'll notice difference wise is that if you look in the underside of Sideswipe, you'll find that the inside of his windshield is painted. In this case, it's painted silver. That silver paint doesn't present anywhere else. But what it will do when we um, uh, when I flip him around uh, for vehicle mode is that you will see that um, that it does create kind of a cool effect with uh, uh, with the windshield. Um, and it and it's an effect that hasn't necessarily been seen in the in the other figures that I've that I've talked about um, so far. Um, let's see his feet go up that way. So again, and and don't forget to rotate the waist and and is that going to go? Is that going to go? What what is hanging up? Oh, the feet. There we go. So I could get get his feet set and oh, hang on. Oh, because I have the doors flipped up. Durr. I'm like, why is he not tabbing in? Oh, because the uh, the doors are still up. Um, what am I missing? Okay, this this particular one is not quite right. What am I missing? Okay. You know, it's always good to have stuff to edit out um, of the podcast. But yeah, let me uh, let me flatten those feet and get. No, something is hanging up. That is that is not working right. Weird. Yeah, I I'm missing a step on this guy. I think because um, it's not. It's not tabbed quite right, or or maybe it is, and I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I've got mold blindness, but but there he is in car mode, and um, he the same um, silver uh, matte wheels. In this case, there's uh, some uh, black paint apps on the side, um, but basically he's 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 a red car. There's uh, there's a little bit of the black on top behind the windshield, very similar to Tiger Track. Um, but there's um, uh, no painted tail lights. Um, he does have uh, painted uh, headlights. Um, in this case, they're silver. And there's the familiar black paint on the shoulders. But with uh, the windshield here, um, it's painted underneath. And it has that clear... Uh, windshield so you can't see the parts instead you see like this design outline which i think is kind of a cool uh feature and it does look a little different than some of the other ones that we saw but outside of that i mean it's it's a red car it's sideswipe if this was the first one i got i i would have i would have no interest um in this mold or this uh, this character, and I certainly wouldn't be collecting all of them. But um, as one of several, it's totally fine. I still don't understand why his. I don't know if something is just stuck, but basically, like I can't get his um, legs or the the back of the car basically to tab all the way in um, at the bottom. I might have to uh, mess around with that later. Oh, this this ankle joint is a little sticky. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, so, oh, and um, matte paint. So it's as flat and matte as Tiger Track and as uh, Netflix deep cover. So um, it, it, it it's it's a cool look. Um, but yeah, it's, I I don't know for, I mean, it, it does, it does what you want a sideswipe to do. It's sideswipe. But uh, for me, as somebody that doesn't care about the figure, this particular version is kind of like weirdly unremarkable. Um, so, all right. So we'll set him off to the side there. And we move on to um, this guy is, oh, Siege Red Alert. 
Siege Red Alert. And it and it's interesting because I like I picked up a few of these. All of them seem to have a loose right knee, not the left one. The um, like my Tiger Track has a has a loose right knee. Sideswipe just had a loose right knee. So I don't I don't know if it's a coincidence or it's whatever, but um, but yeah, so it's it's red alert. He his battle damage is very similar to Sideswipe in that like it's represented in um a couple flecks of silver paint in fact i would say of the figures that we've looked at so far siege red alert seems to have the least amount of battle damage he has almost no battle damage on him um and his arms and thighs are the same bone white as side swipe um in this case though contrasting with the bright white paint um, I think it works a little better and it kind of breaks it up a little bit. So it's not just like, oh my God, he's white. But in, in my array here, yeah, he, he's siege, uh, red alert more than anybody, any of the other characters I've got that this is my white ranger basically, um, because it is so much white and, uh, the red is minimum and he has a very, uh, minimal amount of battle damage. And again, there's the, um, when comparing it to uh, Netflix Red Alert, oh yeah, and see now that I've got some of these same characters, I should be comparing them. Uh, the the red is a lot more vibrant, and uh, you see that more in the um, the headpiece here. The helmet is a lot more vibrant, whereas this is a little more muted, almost maroon. Um, but yeah, so that's. Uh, Um, so yeah, so th this is the guy that like he, you almost need like a couple flashes of blue paint on his antenna to emulate the, the, I'm going crazy, uh, uh, red alert. So, uh, we'll get this guy into, uh, uh vehicle mode real quick. He does have silver feet, um, very similar to, uh, side swipe and deep cover. Uh, so we will, um. Flip this guy around. I tell you what, that that is the disadvantage of there being literally a dozen of this uh, um, of this mold. And again, if you are just joining us, I am going through uh, the Transformers War for Cybertron um, sideswipe mold. I, I I'm I'm really at Lambros because that that's. That's Sunstreaker Erasure, <laughs> uh, which, you know, I, and again, we, uh, th this came up uh, during that TFCon panel where, um, you know, I, I confess that I have no affection or tether uh, to the Sideswipe character. I just like this mold. I think the, the Cybertronian vehicle mode is fun and I like collecting it as a set. Um, so that, so that's the appeal of this for me. It has nothing to do with the character. Um, but, uh, one of the things that was brought up is that Sunstreaker is better and I don't disagree with that, uh, specifically. Yeah, I, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I think my problem is, is I'm not tabbing the, tabbing the legs down enough. Holy shit. Um, wow. Okay. My, uh, Coronation Starscream took a tumble from the from uh, the top of my shelf, so he he has now joined the chat. Um, seems to be okay. Knocked off uh, his crown and no rays, but we'll uh, we'll deal with that uh, at some point. That's not right now. Anyway, so here's a uh, siege red alert, and I I like this guy quite a bit, and very much like his Netflix counterpart has that red stripe that goes all the way from the back of the car to the back of the front wheel. And the combination of red and black and white uh, presents very cool here. Doesn't have any of the battle damage or any of the color gradient. So basically the white is white, the black is black and red. Um, so pretty cool Cybertronian uh, fire chief here. Um, the windshield has the same thing that Siege Sideswipe does in that it's painted underneath and it's completely black here. And on um, on Red Alert, 
Um, the the white paint is all gloss, but the red down the down down the center of his hood is uh, matte. So you get a little bit of both. Um, so no extra bits of black paint and no uh, painted tail lights there. So, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, overall, um, you know, it, it it's red alert. I I think I think siege red alert is a better red alert than sideswipe is. I I was I was going for something philosophical there, but um. Uh, but it, but it's just not there. Um, I, I just, I, I, I think I like red alert better than sideswipe. Um, maybe it's because I am a, uh, sucker for additional, uh, decos and details. Um, so like, you know, there, there are folks that like smoke screen better than blue streak, for example, because he's got like the extra livery and, and racing stuff. And I don't know. Um, but anyway, so there's a, um, there is siege red alert. Um, I like that figure, um, in a way that like, I think with sideswipe, I, what reluctantly like it, barely like it. I don't know. Anyway. So then, um, uh, this is a, the, I got this figure most recently at Sidefest 2022. Uh, so um, this summer, and it is Netflix Sideswipe. This is the dirtiest boy in my uh, in my group, and this was this was one that like I had seen on eBay. I had ah shit, those fell over. Um, that I had seen on uh, Mercari. Uh, but they were always too expensive. Like, um, I even saw this dude. I, I was looking for this dude at uh, TFCon LA back in March. And Chosen Prime and a few other uh, retailers had him sealed 45 bucks. And I got to pay 45 bucks. So I, um, I bought this from a dealer at Sidefest in the last hour of the show got it discounted it was opened but it's complete i have the box i took i think i took a couple pictures with the the backdrop it comes with the backdrops for the netflix figures are actually kind of cool i i kind of um i kind of sort of like the design um um that they with but um but this guy i i paid um less than retail for and was very satisfied so um a couple things on this figure the um this one not only does it have extensive battle damage, but it also has a a very dark uh, paint app, uh, very similar to his friend Red Alert. But he's got lots of silver paint around his shins, um, and around his chest, he's got lots of silver smudging. Um, a few, uh, blast points, like there, there's a, a splash of silver here, um, uh, muted silver that looks pretty cool. And, um, but it's, I mean, this guy is barely red. Um, it, it's just so muddy and dirty and, um, I think it looks cool. I, I don't not like it if, if that makes sense, but it's, um, Again, I, I don't know if it's just my anti-sideswipe uh, bias, but um, outside of that, the, the figure doesn't do a whole bunch for me. Um, since it is a um, Netflix or Walmart deluxe, um, it doesn't have a lot of extras. He has the gun slash rocket launcher in a single color in um, dark, dark gray. So not painted, all one color. And with the same um, uh, rocket launcher, so so that that's the only gun he comes with. Um, and again, I think the the um, head presents very well. It's the uh, dark black with uh, the silver face and blue eyes, much like almost all the other ones. So let's um, let's let's get this dude into uh, vehicle mode. And uh, like some of the others, like uh, Siege Sideswipe, 
the uh, the inside is uh, is painted. Man, stiff joints on this dude. Uh, so we'll get to that. Flip in the fist. Bend at the elbow. Flip in the shoulder. I have no idea how entertaining it is uh, watching folks uh, transform figures on camera. Um, um, I like doing it. It's kind of fun. But... Um, but yeah, you know, if uh, maybe when I get around to editing this uh, this video, I might put in some uh, stop motion, but uh, probably not. I mean, not not stop motion. Geez, uh, time lapse. I mean, I don't know how to do that, actually. So I don't even know why I'm talking about that. And I keep forgetting to flip the doors up while I'm trying to flip the legs over. It's like the one thing I keep doing wrong over and over. Um, so anyway, so there there is. Uh, sideswipe in vehicle mode. And this has the same paint gradient that Red Alert does, um, specifically around the back where it goes from um, red to more of a burnt maroon and a lot more um, uh, dark black, um, almost brown, actually. So like looking at the back of the vehicle, uh, no painted tail lights and a lot of burnt uh, paint gradient there, which is which is kind of neat. Um, and again, uh, Netflix Red Alert is the only other one that kind of has that effect. Um, and you got some of that on the side. Um, you do have the flashes of black paint on the top. And uh, the windshield is uh, smoky and painted so it is very opaque but you can see that pattern um underneath very similar to siege sideswipe but and where where it gets a little wonky for me it kind of looks uneven when you see it in vehicle mode how dark that front of that hood is it's um especially how light i mean the on the back of the car behind the windshield it's still kind of red that gradients into like a burnt red, but the front of it, it's almost a different color. It's like, it's like maroon and it's just very dark. And, um, the front of it, uh, the headlights are painted silver and the front of it, it's uh, again, just, uh, the, the, the effect I would say is burnt i guess it, it's it's less like blaster damage than um i mean like gunfire um it, it's yeah it's just it's i don't know i guess it's just a burnt effect um nick has come back in the chat and asked how come sideswipe never comes with the backpack rocket pack that Par prime borrowed from him in the tv show i have wondered that myself um the the actual rocket pack though comes with oh which accessory pack is that i want to say it's like the the centurion drone or something but there there was a uh weapons pack that comes with a handful of blast effects it, it's the one that comes with the g1 style optimus prime rifle um as well as the uh mace for Megatron and the Energon Axe. I believe in that pack, there is a Sideswipe Rocket Pack. And maybe I need to track that down just so I can get the Rocket Pack, just so I could put it on um, on Seed Sideswipe just, for, uh, just to reenact that scene. And I talked about this during the uh, podcaster, or Podcasters Roundtable at uh tfcon when i was talking about sideswipe really my only thing with sideswipe is that one scene and it's not even a sideswipe moment it's an optimist moment he's like sideswipe give me your rocket pack and sideswipe my rocket pack no <laughs> it's just it's one of it's one of those few times where Optimus is just so sassy with people. He's just like, he's got no time for lip because he needs to um, go chase, uh, go chase Megatron. So anyway, so, but that's, that's Netflix uh, sideswipe. Um, and where do we want to go from there? Okay. So 
I think at this point, and so so I have I'm gonna do Gigawatt last. Um just just cause. Um so next, I guess technically it's it it's both it would be both at the same time because I got clamp down and um and earth mode sideswipe at the same time. So let's start with let's start with sideswipe because I think this is where the the comparisons are going to be kind of interesting. So this the this review is going in in reverse order because I received him in vehicle mode and that's kind of where he stays. Um so as I had said before I had um early on decided that we're only going to collect the Cybertronian modes just to keep the collection from going out of control. And cause I thought once I start messing around with earth mode stuff, then it's, then it's just going to spiral out of control and I won't be able to get my way back, which is kind of what happened, which is fine. Cause, cause you know, um, cause it's awesome. But my my lack of affection for sideswipe also kind of extends to lamborghinis that you know not really my favorite you know it's just it's you know i think when i was in elementary school i thought lambos were cool but i kind of grew out of it so um i i don't know how to transition from there but let, let's talk about uh Earth mode sideswipe from Kingdom, and this is where we start get in, getting into some real differences. Um, obviously, the chest slash hood is completely different. Th this is a this is an all new piece. On this version, the Kingdom version, there's a strip of paint on basically the the front fender or the the front of the front of the vehicle. The headlights are painted silver and then recessed within the chest there. There's a, I don't, I, I don't know how to describe it, but basically like it's, it, it's just like a recessed area of the chest where the, the tampoed uh, tampograph Autobot symbol is there for my eye. The Autobot symbol looks a little bigger on this uh on this kingdom version but again this this chest is completely new um for this uh for this illustration i'm going to take his guns off so like he has he comes with a rifle that is painted white black pa black plastic painted white and it actually gives like a really cool wash effect for the details of the rifle but i'm going to set that off to the side and then he has again the familiar um missile launcher rocket mode thing and again it's um well let's see so the wait a damn minute hang on hang on it has is this all one piece so the the missile launcher is black plastic painted white and it has the clip or tab or whatever to go into his shoulder like we've seen in every other version it also has the five millimeter post for it to go on the side of the car or in his hand but what's different is that there's the missile on it i'm gonna see if this comes off okay so it does come off it's red plastic painted white but for the first time that we've seen, there is no handle on it. There is no five millimeter post on it. So this is not a handgun. This is not a pistol. This is specifically a missile that goes into um, the rocket launcher. And it's interesting because it looks like it's similar. So like I'm going to put up... Um, the handgun version and the missile version, the, the shapes and everything are the same, except the, the part where the, the five millimeter post was, is gone. Very weird. So this is specifically a missile launcher. So he's got a missile launcher and a rifle, which makes sense because none of the other side swipes have had 
no, that's not true. Uh, both uh, both Tiger Track and Deep Cover have rifles, so never mind. But Sideswipe doesn't have a rifle. Red Alert does, and that's where you get the um, that's where you get that from. So I want to talk more about the retooling of this uh, um, of this Sideswipe because again, it's I guess this is this is my first experience um, or first opportunity to handle this earth mode and realizing for as intimately familiar as I am with all the other ones, how different this really is. This is, uh, there, there is some extensive retooling here. Um, so on the, on the side of the car, the, um, the shoulder looks completely different. It's, it's, it's all one piece. Whereas on some of the other ones, oh, let me see if I can find an example here. Oh, I have him in. Okay, so so I have I have the G two version here still in um in vehicle mode, and you compare that with the Earth mode, and the shoulder is a bit different um, in how it folds. Out. This um. This new one is actually pretty elegant and it looks a lot more slick than the the Siege counterpart. The whole side of the car while it still has the flash of black for the shoulder, it all looks a little more smooth and a little more sleek and a little more finished. The uh windshield again is painted on the inside. But I can't tell if the plastic is colored or if the paint is colored. Either way, you can still see the details like you could with Siege Sideswipe, but now it presents as more blue. So again, I don't know if it's clear blue plastic or if it's blue paint inside, but either way, it's it's um, it's blue. And then... There's more, I, I, I think it's more plastic on top, but whereas in the um, siege molds, we've seen that the windshield, um, no, Nick, I, I can't compare it to Sunstreaker because I don't have any Sunstreakers, sorry. Um, but anyway, so on this, this is all one piece of clear plastic, whereas on the Kingdom Earth mode, yeah, this feeling it here that this is this is this is not clear plastic that's been painted like I thought. So this is like a separate piece. So there's a clear plastic window with a um, painted or red plastic on top, and then there's uh, spots here for the windows. So again, very slick, very cool. Um, the other thing I want to say is that the Earth mode is. Um, has a more compact profile. The the what will become the legs and is now the back of the car is very slim and way more sleek than the Siege counterpart. Um, Siege has like these giant chunky um, uh, flares on the side, which makes it a little harder to to pose in Star Scream's chair. By the way, I think these guys will actually do a little better. But if um, looking at it. From that perspective, you kind of see how the the top is flared out a little more than this. This, this is this is significantly more flat than this. Um, the siege uh, vehicle looks almost uh, chunky by by comparison, whereas the Earth mode is very very slick. Um, has the same uh, silver tires or uh, wheels and rims as uh several others i can tell since we've been messing around with this mold for, for um for a while that the legs are completely remolded the back of the vehicle is it, all new parts um flipping to the back there there's um, again, no extra paint applications here. Um, the part that flares up is non-existent in the earth mode, so it's just not there. Uh, no uh, specific painted tail lights. And so that's so that that's the vehicle mode. And um, for the first time, 
let's get this guy into robot mode. And I'm kind of interested to see how, how this version of Sideswipe um, uh, presents. So I'm going to go a little slowly because I think because of the new tooling, it might be a little different. So I'm going to flip out his doors first. And oh, and before I do that, I love it feels very smooth. Um, how how the door curves back down into the panel. All of these pieces from like the shoulder to the door to where it lines up with the back of um, the car, it all feels very smooth and very rounded. Very, very cool. I'm already becoming a fan of this mold. Um, it is lighter weight. I just I just noticed that feeling the weight of these two. I don't I don't know if uh, Earth mode just has a little less plastic than the other. But, um, but yeah, very, very. Uh, um interesting how lightweight it is but anyway so i'm gonna i'm gonna flip the doors out and then um uh, and then I'll, then i'll start with the legs let's let's try that so i'll flip his shins out and crack that in the middle and then start the the process of moving his legs out and on this guy to get the feet out, what, what I end up doing is hyperextending his knees a little bit to kind of push on those little tabs to get the feet out. Um, so we'll pull the feet and we'll um, separate the legs, close the panel. And knees are kind of loose, um, but that's all right. So with the with the door still uh, open, go flip the arms out, just like before. Flip the arms out. Flip the fists out. Uh, we'll flip up the the uh, fake torso piece. And um, inside, so actually, yeah. So looking inside. You can see that that it is kind of like a blue silver paint. So I think it's paint, not so much blue plastic for the windscreen. But anyway, so then you you flip down his his uh, flip down his chest there. What's getting in the way? Uh, something's in the way. It's not quite flipping right. Um, oh my God, his arm came off. <laughs> oh no. I've never had that happen before. So basically there's just like a mushroom post on uh, the, the bottom of his shoulder, his bicep. I've never slid a, it's all, it's all coming apart now. Um, I I've never had um, a piece come off before. That's uh, that's new. Um, so anyway, so yeah, let me, let me see if I can get this guy flipped down and yeah, it is. It's just not, it's just not quite working right. Um, okay. There we go. I, I think I didn't have the shoulders uh, parted enough. Um, I'm sure, and rotate his waist and put his. Oh, what is happening now? I can't flip his arms up. Oh, this joint is completely different. This shoulder is completely different. So, yeah, so you got to fold his shoulder up that way. And then you close the doors on uh, on the inside. In fact, you got to lift his chest all the way up to fold the doors all the way in. Um, so anyway, so we'll, we'll oh, that head is really loose. Um, and then now we flip him down. Um, so, yeah, so there's there's a side swipe. Holy smokes. I. Uh, I like this guy. I mean, I, I just went on a rant about like how much I don't like Sideswipe, but this guy's cool. I uh, I really like this. Oh, I didn't talk about the paint. It's a. Uh, um, oh, my gosh. So I, I damn it. I wish I had talked about this while I still had him in uh, vehicle mode, but it's it's somewhere in between gloss and matte. It's not as glossy as deep cover. It's not as matte as Tiger Track it's somewhere in the middle. It's just kind of like, I don't know, normal color or normal finish, like normal plastic finish. It's not high gloss, but it's not matte. It's kind of just right, actually. Um, Kind of cool. He has, we're back to the minty white 
um, forearms and thighs. No battle damage. White feet, white knees. Good balance of color. I really like this figure. Um, so I don't, I I don't, I don't, I don't know the like the the difference between um, uh, Earth mode and Cybertronian mode. It's night and day. This guy looks like Sideswipe. This looks like lame Sideswipe. Uh, Sideswipe from Wish, I guess. But um, he's really cool. Um, his again, his, his knees are a little loose. I think I think we're starting to see some mold degradation, maybe. Because uh, yeah, the knees are very loose. Um, on my copy, the head is very loose. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it, it color wise, it does everything you want Sideswipe to do. He, he, uh, he looks great. What a, what a surprise. What a surprise. He, I, I really like that figure. And, um, now I'm almost bummed that I kind of passed on him. Um, so anyway, so there's, oh, see some of my figures are starting to um fall over um okay so let's let's go back to because uh, i know uh nick had a bunch of um uh questions that i wanted to address here before uh before i convert the rest of them i still got four more of these guys um but we'll uh we'll get there um so in the chat nick asks why can't i see it now ba -ba 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 -bum. scrolling scrolling uh, let's see. Do you get two of every figure so you can display the same figure in both modes? No. Um, usually what will happen is I will convert it into vehicle mode and play with it and then display it in robot mode, unless it's my alternators and those are in vehicle mode. Most of them. Um, yeah, no, I, in fact, I think the only reason I would have two of a figure would be to have one um uh, mint in box so like for example um uh nick the the sound wave that you uh gifted me for my birthday um last year year before um that's the one i have at work open and because like the, the the box was was already kind of um uh had a had some dino damage on it but um I had one that was mint in box and that one is still mint in box on my shelf. So that, so that's a, uh, humble brag. Um, you know, having, having, uh, two of the same very sought after and expensive mold. Um, my friends love me. Um, but no, um, ha, uh, or how about one Cybertronian mode, one earth mode and one robot mode. So three of the same figure. Uh, yes. So actually, well, with, with sideswipe, for example, I have three of the same figure. So I've got, you know, um, Siege and Netflix and now uh, Kingdom Earth Mode. So um, technically, if I wanted to do, well, shit, it would be what, six? One, one for each mode? I'm not doing that. Yeah, I, I'm not doing that. Um, will the missile consider will the missile be considered a torch? Will it fit in his hand? Let's um okay, yeah, let's uh let's try that. Um I never even thought of doing that play pattern, but you're absolutely right. Yeah, yep, fits right in his hand. And actually speaking of his hands, are his hands different? Hang on. No, they are not. I, I think I think we're just starting to get a little uh, a little bit of mold degradation on uh, on the on the joints of the hands. They're they're um, looser. But yeah, you're right. He's he's got himself like uh, you know. Is there a light? You know that 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 kind of thing, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, what a weird thing. Like all of them are handguns until you get to Earth mode. Madness. Um. So what parts are the black parts on each side of the car? The arms? Um, the shoulder. It, it's, it's, it's the shoulder. That, that's, that's the black that you're seeing 
on uh on the side of the cars um the black parts below the windows yeah so basically it's 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 basically that part of the shoulder um assembly because everything else and especially with this this um extra molded detail in his shoulder again this is rounded off no no other versions of the mold have that so far um to where it, it fits in very flush but yeah so the, the the black parts are basically his uh um the shoulders um okay so again so so the other figure i got at the same time in the same box from uh from my buddy garrett nemesis slime um clamp down so again, this is uh, from the, um, I guess, new Netflix series or, well, no, not series. No, I'm getting scrambled. Walmart, the, the new series of Walmart exclusives. So this guy has um, the rifle, all black, no paint. He's got the um, rocket launcher. And so that that's in two pieces and same thing. It's the missile slash torch. So not a handgun, just a, um, Oh, check this out. So it's a, it's white plastic that's painted red. Um, whereas the other one, which I can't quite seem to find is red plastic painted white. Did I say that right? Okay, come on. So <laughs> look at this, look at this. So you have one missile slash torch that is red plastic painted white. You have the other one that is white plastic painted red. What? What? Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, just, just cast one in red plastic and the other one in white plastic. Why paint it? That makes no goddamn sense. That makes no sense at all. Um, anyway, so so there's um so clamp down again. We we already went over all the tooling. Um, but like uh oh, let's start at the front. So he uh clamp down has uh painted um headlights, in this case they're black with a flash of uh, so the you can't see it in the video but the the headlights are recessed a little bit that um is not painted entirely black you can see a flash of white i thought it was more paint but it's not um and then you have uh a more uh this is this is almost like prowl deco i'm i'm not super familiar with clamp down so um i apologize for how inaccurate this might be but like it looks like prowl actually with the the um the flared in black that tapers into um his recessed chest or hood uh with a autobot symbol uh with a blue crest around it and what i can't tell If that says something, because it looks like there, there's text in there, I can't read it. My eyes are too bad. Um, but yeah, so he's um, has the same tooling as Sideswipe. So again, this whole side is so smooth. Look at look at how much more smooth that is on these Earth modes than in the Cybertronian car mold. Now I'm a guy that that has been talking to you for over an hour talking about how much I like this mold. But in this time that I'm reviewing these for the first time, this this tooling is winning out. I really like the the Earth Mode Lambros cuz like the, the side is just so clean. It's not um it's not as greebly as the other stuff, but there's there's some painted black underneath um uh with a stenciling for police he's got a badge um same uh same silver uh wheels and rims and then um he's got the uh the same windshield that's um that's smoky 
uh, smoky black. So it's kind of opaque, but if you look close enough, you can see some of the details underneath. I don't know if he's painted underneath. We'll, we'll take a look. Um, but one of the, the cool things I've seen, like, you know, uh, all the red alerts have a light bar, right? But Clampdown has this flash of silver paint um, down uh, uh, down the middle to separate the light. And yes, because he's a red alert, the light bar does come off. It's all clear plastic with uh, um, with a flash of silver paint on top. Let me see if I can find one of the other ones. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me find a red alert here. Oh, where are the light bars? Oh. <laughs> It was right in front of me. Oh, so, okay. So, um, I believe, oh man, all these parts are going to be so mixed up. Good thing I've got a video to, uh, help me. But, um, so this is siege red alerts, light bar. This is clamp downs light bar. This light bar is, uh, completely clear and light can pass through it. The other one is, um, has a strip of paint underneath it. It's the same clear red plastic. And there, there is a bit of paint to, uh, um, separate the, the two lights of the light bar, but yeah. Why paint that? Why paint that underneath there? There's no reason for it when it could just be a clear light bar, uh, like it is for, uh, for clamp down. But again, I just, um, I love how sleek the earth mode is um one thing I, I it's not a nitpick it's not a complaint it's an observation i think i misspoke earlier when i was talking about earth mode side swipe and having um the the top of the windshield being uh a separate piece of plastic i don't think it is because now that i'm looking at clamp down it's a different shade of white than the rest of the car so I think this actually is white paint on top of a black uh, windshield. Um, Nick, so why is the shoulder part on clamp down white, but side swipe it's black? Oh, because it, it's painted. So this uh, um, this part is painted white and uh, just on clamp down on every other one we've seen so far, it's the color of the shoulders. So like here on um, uh, G2, it's red because his sh shoulder is red. Um, I don't have any of the other ones in a uh, vehicle mode anymore, but like, like on, um, like on blue deep cover, for example, if you look at the back of him, this, this part of his shoulder, this entire assembly for his shoulder is all black. So when you turn him into a uh, vehicle mode, that black presents in the same place that this presents as white uh, here on a, uh, on a uh, clamp down. So, yeah, so let's, let's, um, let's, let's get this dude transformed um, and uh, um, see if we can uh, think about almost wrapping up here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. So he uh, flips out that way and we'll flip his feet out and close out the, uh, the shins there. And so, yeah, so, so Nick, this is, so you see where his um, shoulder is here. This is the part that flips out and that's all white. Whereas on all the other ones, it, um, it's a different color. It's like it's red or it's black or it's something. Um, so we'll get this guy flipped out. We'll we'll take a look, see here. So, oh, okay. So with clamp down, the inside of the uh, windshield is not painted. It's uh, it's clear. So like Tiger Track and Deep Cover, it's a uh, um, it, it's clear plastic which I, I think is really interesting. So I think with, um, so I'm, I'm going to finish this stage of the, the transformation a little differently than I did with Sideswipe. I'm going to turn Clampdown's arms up um, and try to flip in the door first before I try to flip the rest down. So we'll try that. We'll flip the doors in because I think there needs to be a little extra clearance for the shoulders for the um for the hood to flip down um 
and yeah, so sure enough, you flip that down that way and, um, and there you go. So, oh, and I got finish rotating his waist and there's clamp down. This dude also really cool. Glad I got this guy. And actually what even this was going to be the decision maker on whether I was going to get into earth mode or not, because I one he he's more scarce and more rare and all of that. But like this dude is really cool. Um, uh, he has the same finish as kingdom sideswipe. You know, it's, it's not quite gloss. It's not quite matte. It's kind of a little bit of both, but the thing I like about clamp down here is the amount of uh, extra paint apps he has. He's got blue knees and, um, a little strip of red on his uh, uh, fake waist here, his uh, fake tummy. Um, and then obviously the additional details on his chest that you see very much in vehicle mode. But uh, this is the first figure of this, um, this run that has arms and thighs that are a different color other than white. They're gray. And they're, it's, it's, um, it's a it's a really cool shade of gray too and it breaks up all the white i think it i think it looks really really cool um i like this figure a lot and i'm um and i'm glad i got him um and i like the, i like the white fists i think that that just looks really cool with the, the uh the more uh butterscotch gray um uh forearms there um okay so we are almost done the um the second to the last figure that i got and again i i already unboxed him but let's go back to kingdom red alert and i think i already told the story about how i saw um uh, jamal's version of it and I, I really fell in love with it i i thought oh man those red arms and red legs really speak to me um but again no battle damage on him um, I like that the shins are gray. It looks really cool with the, uh, with the red thighs. Um, I also like the, I mean, we'll, we'll probably talk about this more when I get him in vehicle mode, but I like the detail on his, uh, chest. It really makes really good use of that recessed chest area. I think of the three this one uses that space the best because it's the the red for the fire chief and it's got the badge and okay so it has a autobot logo but then it also has a fire chief badge and it says fd on it whereas you know most of these are cybertronian mode so you know it's got got that on there um i don't know why i didn't notice this earlier but he has the other uh, missile launcher. So I bet, and we're going to find out here, I bet you that this missile in uh, Kingdom Red Alert's um, uh, missile launcher here, it's going to be black plastic that's painted red. What do you think? Um, let's, uh, let's find out. No, it's white plastic painted red. Why? Who could know? But anyway, so there, there's his uh, there's his missile launcher there. He also comes with a rifle because he's a red alert. And so, yeah, let's uh, um, face sculpt. Is good. Very vibrant red. As much as Earth mode sideswipe is is a great sideswipe. This is a great red alert. What I don't know is I don't remember the animation model off the top of my head. If his arms and legs are red. That would be the only thing that would be keeping this from being ultimate red alert. I, I, I like siege red alert. Actually. I think that's a, I think that's a really good representation, but let's, uh, um, let's get this dude into a uh, vehicle mode. Um, and again, I, I, I really like this, uh, this kingdom tooling. I, I did not think I was going to like, um, earth mode, uh, sideswipe. But the 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 doors are vastly improved. They they have um they have a better click to them. It feels less um it feels less janky, um which is a uh, um which is much appreciated. But it's um super cool. Let's uh th this dude is oh 
And, uh, oh, wow. Okay, so looking underneath, this guy's got a completely different window than everyone else because it it's, uh, well, maybe not. It, it's here. It looks a little more smoky than maybe some of the others. But um, yeah, that, that hits a little different, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get his fists folded in. That hood is not quite tabbing right. I'm not sure why. Got to leave the doors open again. Flip the feet in. I, I love the gray feet on this guy. I think I think that's a um, that's a great look too. Matches his gray shins, which is um, again I think a good way to um, uh, uh, break up the the white and the red, and while also being complementary with it. Um, okay, so let's fold this guy up. We'll fold his arms over. We'll get this tabbed in as best as we can. Let me see. Get this tabbed in. That is, it's, it's not tabbing in because I'm trying to rush and I need to slow down because I don't want to break my toys. Now I've dropped it because yeah, there, there's this, there's this bar here that connects the two pieces and you gotta, gotta get it right. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that was a nice click. All right. So we'll, we'll flip those closed. That looks pretty tabbed in. And then, um, and so there is, kingdom red alert in vehicle mode and this guy th this is interesting too because like um again no bow damage it's kingdom uh the same uh uh silver uh wheels and rims but his headlights are painted but they're painted like this teal green that looks super cool uh lo looks really rad um this and again i want to go back to this windshield because th this is this is so different than the other ones like it's it's clear but it's smoky and you can see the red parts underneath but you can also see some of the details um very confounding um and he does have the light bar that does come off and this is uh similar to clamp downs in that it is uh, clear, unpainted all the way through. There is some paint uh, on the top. It does suffer from the same off-white uh, paint on the um, on the details on top of the windshield that Clampdown does. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll get his uh, uh, get his light bar back on. The side profile again, like like Nick had pointed out a couple times here. Here it's painted black, whereas on uh, Clampdown. It's painted white. This is more typical to what the other side swipes are like. So you have a little bit of black paint on the side here. And again, his black painted shoulders. Um, around the back, no painted uh, tail lights. But the thing I wanted to talk about, and I think I'm bearing the lead on this, look at the of the car. Look at the amount of black paint that's on there on the sides on the louvers going down the back i noticed that when when i was facing it the other way when it was in robot mode no other side swipe has this on the on the back which is like the back of the legs more than kingdom red alert this this is this is a really really cool detail um a lot of extra paint and it really brings out those details in the mold where on sideswipe you don't even really notice these these extra louvers here because it's all red it's all red in fact um yeah so there it is on sideswipe so this um uh earth mode kingdom sideswipe could have really benefited from some extra black paint apps on there i think that would have really really kind of um uh, brought that up so there um there is kingdom red alert i really like this figure 
And um, I, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to miss him despite my best efforts. And, and that's the funny thing about this. And, and that's, that's kind of the, the weird, interesting part about this collection is that unlike say like my studio series 86, so studio series 86, a new figure is announced. I instantly pre-order it, you know, no, no messing around with like, Oh man, I'm going to see if I can find it in the wild or whatever, because I know that I'm going to buy those regardless. Um, because it's got the, the transformers, the movie call out on there that I, that I need and that I want in, uh, uh, for my collection. Whereas the other stuff, you know, it, it's just, uh, you know, I, I pre-order a bunch of Boba Fett's and, you know, I pre-order snake eyes and things like that. But like a lot of like transformers, I, you know, I, 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 I've missed a lot of windows and such was the case with, with sideswipes in that I, by the time I started collecting sideswipes, um, several figures had come and gone and, you know, I, I end up having to track them down through different ways, even up to and including the, um, uh, kingdom, uh, uh, two pack there. But the last figure, about and and again i'm i've talked about it. i waited no i i'm i'm not glad i waited because it, it cost me more but i'm glad this one was the last and again it's a it's a, a covert clone side swipe um in the in the g2 uh deco um i love this figure um i don't know if it's my favorite but I, I knew it was worth waiting for because like, I would keep seeing pictures of it and I just, I, I like it. So I like it a lot. So let, let, let me run through this real quick. He's, um, he does have the strip of red paint, um, across the front, um, painted headlights, silver. The finish on it is high gloss, just like deep cover. And, um, so it's, it's a, um, mostly black car but where uh deep cover has flashes of blue this one has flashes of red so you've got um on the side profile you've got again the painted shoulder assembly which now that i have talked about this 10 other times i dislike this figure th this feature the more i talk about it i loved it when i first talked about it but going back to it again and again and again my feelings have become mixed on it, but anyway, it has, a, has a nice painted strip, uh, in the middle between the wheels, but not too much. It doesn't go all the way back. Like, uh, some of the red alerts do. It's just enough red to break up the black, um, to say nothing about this windshield. I think of all of these, this is my favorite windshield because it has, um, some, it has some paint underneath you can see the specific details, but just like this clear red windshield, um, very futuristic, very cool looking. And again, the thing that I like about this particular mold is that it looks like a cool futuristic space car. It doesn't look like a futuristic Lamborghini or whatever. It's, it just looks like a cool space car. Um, the extra red paint apps the top behind the windshield, um, looks super cool. And again, it breaks up that, that, uh, gloss black just enough. Very, very, very cool looking. And, um, I, I want to go back and look at some of the other ones, but like the, um, the wheels and rims do have that matte silver, but it's only on the five star, of the of the wheel the inside of the rim is painted black or no i'm sorry it's not painted it's just the five star of the of the rim of the wheel that's painted um no other sideswipe has this detail all of them have um fully painted silver this is the only one that has just some of that um silver paint very cool. 
Um, so uh, let's uh, let's get this dude uh, converted real quick. And um, yeah, we'll just. Uh, I've been doing it so much. I I'm starting to forget steps. It's like, oh, did I do that already? No. Spin his waist around. Close the calves and see again since it's yeah th there is something in the engineering of the shoulders that has a little more clearance than the uh the earth modes because it, it's it's far more generous with in terms of like what i can flip out and what i can pull down um so yeah so there's uh and there he is um so this is a covert clone uh, sideswipe from half of the Alpha Strike Counterforce. I have the other figures, uh, Slam Dance, uh, the the uh, um, Autobot uh, flywheels, as well as oh, where is he? Um, uh, I'll get to that in a sec. I do have his Battle Master. Um, I'm glad I bought the whole set because it's a fun set. Um, uh, I was originally going to buy just Sideswipe, and so the dude quoted me a price, and I'm like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just buy the whole damn thing. So that's what I did. But, um, I like this G2 deco. Um, he's got the, um, silver feet, silver knees on red shins, um, red, uh, waist and crotch and red hands. And, and that looks really cool with the black shoulders. And then the, um, oh, let me compare this to, uh, let me compare this to deep cover because I'm trying to see if he, if it's just as white and it is actually the, these are the two, there are two of a kind. So yeah. So you got, you got the two black cars, you got, you got deep cover and covert clone uh, side swipe, but yeah, man, I mean this, um, I, I like the color combinations quite a bit. The, the, you know, the, the red and the minty white with all the black and again, that 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 futuristic red uh, windshield, Chef's kiss. I love this. I I don't I don't know if it's my favorite, but he will have a a special place for me because um, he was the last one and the one that I thought was going to be the most elusive, or, or that what was the most elusive. I mean, so um, so he has weapons that are similar but different so uh this version of sideswipe does not have a rifle because red alert has a that that's red alerts rifle but what he does have is he has a battle master so uh or or a target master or whatever you want to call it so that uh fits in his hand there that's a that's a big old gun and let me uh shake out my uh other stuff here um there is a blast effect that that comes with the set and then that um attaches to the gun on either barrel i think because there's a little post there and now he's shooting pee at you um pew 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 um so anyway so yeah so there there's a blast effect there for the um larger uh, battle master target master dude this guy transforms into his own little dude um let me see if i can pop his arms off there and i think his legs just swing around or oh it's tabbed in that's the problem okay swing his legs down and okay and there you go so this is trench foot um, his, uh, battle master. And again, I'm glad I got this guy because he is so complimentary, uh, with, uh, with sideswipe here. I didn't realize that, that, that they were, they were going to have similar or the same coloring. Um, I posted a, a picture on my Twitter, um, of the two together. It says, don't talk to me or my son ever again, but because he's a sideswipe, we're back to the, um, to the rocket launcher, but, but I want you to check this out. So this is the rocket launcher that comes with it. So it is silver paint on black plastic. And we're back to the missile being a, uh, separate handgun. So this does, um, detach 
and you can see that it is a uh, silver paint on black plastic. Um, so we'll put those together. But what what really, it, you know, we have these toy moments that that uh, make us gasp, and and it's, sometimes it's it's the biggest thing. Oftentimes it's the littlest thing. When I got this, because I, I hadn't handled this set in hand, I didn't know how it was going to present. I didn't know what it was like. When I got it and I got his uh, missile launcher out, I noticed the amount of additional paint or lack of paint, I guess. So if you, if you look at it here, there's part of the center and part of the back that aren't painted. So the black plastic comes through. Same with the missile slash handgun. There's um, a bit on the top and the bottom that are unpainted. So of all of the missile launchers, this one is the best because it it has deliberate paint applications on it that no other figure has. So it's like this is one where it's like it's it's a colored plastic that is painted and it completely makes sense. So like th this is definitely my favorite of all of the um, missile launchers. So that is all of the sideswipes um, and all of the red alerts and all the clamp downs and the tiger tracks and the, and the deep covers that that one actually works, but there is one last figure and I should have done it in order, but quite frankly, I forgot because it was out of reach. And we talked about this earlier. You got a um, gigawatt, the, the back to the future DeLorean. Um, this figure is a mixed bag. I like it. I like that it exists. And I think that using the sideswipe mold was actually the best way to go because of the way that it presents, um, especially as um, as the tooling was getting closer to the Earth uh, Earth mode. I don't remember if Kingdom uh, sideswipe predates Gigawatt or not. This might actually be like a Siege retool, Kingdom pre-tool. Wrap your head around that one. But the um, basically, this is a heavy retool um, of Sideswipe. But as we'll as I'll talk about here, he's Sideswipe. I mean, I mean, it, it is unmistakable. I had somebody argue with me recently. Oh, it's not Sideswipe. There's enough stuff here to where it is unambiguous. So, but anyway, so like, so like the car mode, it it is it is decoed just like the the Back to the Future DeLorean. Uh, the right grill and headlights. It does have uh, that. That's a different color plastic. That's not painted. Uh, but there, there's a strip of silver on the front. Um, the texture on this guy is really cool because it, it's um, it it's. I don't know if it's a paint or a wash or something, but they did something to where it um, emulates stainless steel. And I think that's really cool and it's really neat. Um, the windshield leaves a little left uh, um, desired because you can see all of the parts underneath. And it's not in a cool exotic way like the way uh, side swipes are because th this just looks foreign and exotic. This just looks weird. Um, I... Um, I, I know there was some uh, discourse about whether these windows should be clear or painted or opaque. I just know like I can, it's not a deal breaker, but it is an observation. Um, the, the, but where this really sings is in the back of it because you get all of the extra detailing. You have the vents, you have the, um, all of the engine bits there there's at least what one two three four five six different colors and several paint apps for like all of the engine time machine stuff and again the the little uh, mr fusion that pops off um all in all a pretty deep back to the future car um also the wheels flip under to emulate the um, hover mode 
from Back to the Future Part Two. So that's uh, when when we get around to it, it aids in the transformation, but also it, it's 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 cool. It's just a little extra bit of authenticity. Also with the doors, um, I just got this out of the box. So let's see if these open. It's been a while since I've played with this mold, even though I'm trying to make a case that it's the same mold. Okay. I'm not going to mess with the doors. It does. It's not, it's not coming intuitively. So we'll see what happens after we, um, take a look but if you take a look underneath those you can already see that side swipe look at the shins look at the arms it's the same assembly so we're going to do this slowly we're going to flip open the um the shin panels we're going to pop the car or pop the split it in the middle basically so that we can uh pop the back off and around um well, let's ro rotate there's a clip that separates uh the legs there's the feet and then um, again, my trick to where I like bend the knees to pop the legs out, uh, bend the knee and pop the, the foot out, I mean, and then you close the panels. And then, okay, so th this is where I got to concentrate a little bit here because like the, oh, there we go. Okay, so the, the these are, the doors are tabbed in and you got to, there's a there's a little it's it's hard. I mean they're 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 tabbed in and clipped in really well. So then you open up the doors. So you do got the gull wing doors, as you can see there. And then we're gonna um, flip his arms out first. I'm gonna uh, bend him at the bicep, flip it out that way. Sure, I'll flip his fists out while I'm here. And then this, oh, this next part is where it gets a little goofy because there is a piece that is not on any of the side swipes that's this extra little bit of detail here. And I got to figure out where that goes. Because basically, currently it's impeding the shoulder folding all the way out. So I got to do something with that. Okay. So, okay. So you got to rock this a little bit and then it, it more comes out that way. So this extra piece on the top that has the detailing for the, the bottom of the car is on the shoulder and then that swings down. So, yeah, so this guy, you just got to kind of, just kind of loosen it a little bit and then flip it down. And now his arms can flip out. Now, because he has different tooling than Sideswipe, this is all door. So on Sideswipe, this would be windshield back behind, but none of it's there. But as you can see, I mean, like the, the engineering is all the same um, in, in terms of uh, how that all moves and operates. And then you pop his chest and his chest flips down. Right. Because what you need to do is he has like this, um, the, the, the time circuits on the front there. And I still keep not getting this right. So I think you have to push it in. Oh man. I've messed with this uh, on my copy at work and I always get nervous because I think you got to, oh, you got to, you got to press on it a little bit. Oh, see, and anytime it goes, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to break it. Um, yeah, which, and which way does it go? Oh, this is making me nervous. 
Oh, this is making me nervous. Oh, snap. It, it came out. Shit. Because I broke it. Fuck. Yep. Sure shit. I broke it. There's there's a um there's a little hinge right here. Um or a little uh I, I don't know what you call it, but there's there's a post, a post that goes into um the hole in the side there. And yeah, god damn it, I broke it. Fucking broke it. God damn it. Okay. Well, this this is uh, <laughs> uh, we we suffer for our art, I guess. Good thing I have another one at work. Um. But anyway, so yeah, so now I gotta figure out how to get this dumb panel back in his dumb chest. Um. I think, I think you have to fold his uh um, I think you have to fold the tires in, uh, to get that to flip all the way down. And yeah, give me a sec. I gotta, I gotta figure out how this damn thing works now that I broke it. Fuck, I can't believe I broke it. I'm usually very ginger with my toys too, almost to a point. To a point like um <laughs> Yoshi was picking on me for how delicate I was being with uh with my kingdom Rodimus, to where I'm like, I'm so careful with it that I don't want to, um, cause like his whole back is all clear plastic. And I, um, was so fearful of it. I didn't want to tab it all the way in. Oh man, this is, this is, this is going to be an anticlimactic ending. I think, um, because that is just not fitting right. Okay. There we go. We got it. Now, wait, so where do the shoulders go? Damn it. So do the shoulders go in first? And then the wheels on the bus go? Oh, oh, right. Okay, sorry. So what you got to do is you have to flip the wheels all the way in. Then it flips down and it's flush. And so yeah, now his uh now his shoulders all all go in just fine. And um, so yeah, so there he is. There's um there's gigawatt, gigawatt, whatever whatever you want to call him. Um if you look at obviously the tooling and watching how I transformed it before I broke it, um the what should i compare him to oh well i'll just get I'll, I'll just get this guy um obviously the the engineering is almost the same the legs crotch fists forearms arms shoulders those parts are all identical the stuff that's retooled is um, the legs, I mean, or sorry, the back of the legs, which is the back of the car. Um, and that's just basically new parts swapped on top. Now where you get engineering changes is in the back with the gull wing doors and this chest front of the car, which is a fucking nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Um, I've, I've. Um, only transformed him a couple times at work and I've always been nervous about it. And today I broke it. Um, because this time circuit thing, um, it it's clipped, it, it's tabbed in so tight that you have to press on it with enough force to break it, to get it to rotate. What it's supposed to do is rotate. Mine didn't rotate. It broke. Um, so, so I'm, I'm a little sore about that. Um, plus the, this, uh, um, the, this little detail on the back of his shoulders that they've just kind of like posted on there. I don't like it. And it makes, and it makes the vehicle harder to transform. So, um, 
I'm very mixed on this figure. I'm glad it exists. I like the vehicle mode, but because I am such a, a fan and connoisseur of the sideswipe mold, that kind of makes me hate this a little more because it's clunky. The, the chest is too fat. Whereas like on, um, earth mode sideswipe, you could see how the chest is a little more sleek. And so if they had, I don't know, engineered this down just a little more or something. Um, yeah, it's, I, I feel very mixed and, and actually I'm kind of in a bad mood because, <laughs> because I broke it, but that's all right. I do like the head sculpt and it's a, it is a, it is an all new head. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to tell you about the time circuit thing I tried when I was struggling to, uh, transform it and didn't want to break it at work. I displayed it at first with the, uh, with it flipped around, but there's a, a tab on it that totally, uh, infringes on the robot mode. In fact, depending upon how you pose this, depending upon how you look at it, the, the top of the chest is a little too high. It kind of encroaches on the bottom of his chin a little bit, but he's, um, you know how you can tell he's a sideswipe because he's got the same um, uh, shoulder clip. So you can give him, uh, you you can you could put a rocket launcher on him. In fact, you can uh, you could put two on if you wanted. So yeah, so there's, um, and and he does have the same uh, five millimeter ports in his arm. He doesn't have the ones on his side because he's a DeLorean. He's not a, not a space car. Um, which is fine. You don't need it. He, he's got the same five millimeter ports in, in, uh, the bottom of his, of his feet. So you can, you could, uh, uh, put cog or six gun on him to, to give him more height or whatever. But, um, but yeah, it's so, I, I don't understand the argument of saying that gigawatt or gigawatt is not a sideswipe because he absolutely is. He has more parts um, that are sideswipes than he does his own, but that's just me. It's a weird hill to die on, but I thought, I thought that that would be a fun thing to, to uh, just kind of close out here. I was not expecting to break the toy, but here we are. So what I'm going to do here uh, for, the end and um they're all going to be out of order now because like half of them have fallen over but yeah let me see let me see if i can get these guys up in a uh one singular uh display so we could take a group shot and then um then get out of here Okay, actually, so we'll go. And where's clamp down? Okay, cool. Oh, oh, it's going to work. Oh, it's going to work. Great. See, it turns out that dude on Facebook was right the whole time. I, I am fat. Look at that. Okay. All right. 
So now I think we are ready for our last um, last shot here. that off oh well all right so there you go so there are the entire sideswipe lambo ranger squad starting with siege sideswipe siege red alert generation selects deep cover generation selects tiger track See uh, Netflix War for Cybertron Sideswipe, Netflix Red Alert, Netflix Deep Cover, um, Covert Clone Sideswipe, half of the Alpha Strike Counterforce, um, Velocitron Clampdown, Earth Mode Sideswipe from Kingdom, Kingdom Red Alert, and finally Gigawatt. So there you go, 1.21. So that... Um, and, and there you go. That's and, and now I have like all of these, all of these weapons and all this other stuff just like all over, um, all over the road. But um, have a have you had a good time <laughs> hanging out with me? Um, but I I think that will um, I I think that's about going to wrap things up. What uh, what do you think? Any uh, uh, last call for alcohol? Questions, comments, concerns? Anything you want to ask? Uh, before I um, decide to close out the live stream, uh, going once, going twice, um, no more chats. Perfect. Very good. All right. And that will wrap things up for this very special episode. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for listening and sharing in um, in this uh, this collection. Um, if you want to listen to my podcast, Mike Cyber Radio, you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Like, share, rate, and review the show. Let us know what you like and what you'd like to hear more of in the future. My name is Mike. Uh, no. For my guests, the Lambro. For my guests, the Lambro Army. My name is Mike. This has been Mike Cybert Radio. And until next time, tell all or one, make good choices. No more. Goodbye. <laughs>